Well, here we are. Friday night. Logan Hall. Welcome. We need to get to the bottom of Pootie Tang. Ooh. I'm having rosé. Rosé. Oh, here he is. Logan. What's up? <clears throat> What's going on? What's the deal? Nothing, man. I'm having a little bit of rosé. <laughs> nice. Trying to summon the ghost of rosé. Oh, I'm going to summon him. I'm going to summon him. And we're going to get it. We're going to get it uh, raw. Rosé. Raw. Let's do well, it. Did I mean, you, uh, go go on, on, go on, go on. No, you go. Did you see the the teaser video today from Rolex? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I saw. Do you it. know what the consensus is? I'm getting from everybody. Nobody gives a shit. It's because it's all revolving around precious metal, and okay, nobody, nobody in the watch world knows how to talk about anything other than steel. Okay, because everyone's a follower sheep. There's <laughs> one big takeaway that I feel like n nobody's talking about is that it looks like the GMT is going to stay a 40 millimeter case. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, I'm shocked. Right. Shocked. I would have, if there was a place I could have bet money on this, you know, like a Rolex release bet, like pool type of shit, I would have put maybe 10 grand that we would have saw a 41 millimeter GMT. Yeah. Right. That would have been the safest bet in town. Yep. I would have thought the same thing. I've even said publicly many times. I think that's where they're going, but but we don't know what they're doing, right? We don't yeah, even we know, don't know for sure. At. We think we know what we're looking at, but we're always wrong. But look at the look at the fucking uh, the 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 lug. It's the fat lug. I, I don't think they bump it up to forty millimeter and keep that boxy lug. You know what I mean? I know. I know. So, but now that I'm looking at that, I would have you know I thought like everyone else we're going to see a Coke this year. Now that I saw the release, I'm like, don't be surprised if we just see like a regular hand drive sprite. Do you know what I mean? That's that's what I said. Like that's what I said, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if we just see that and then whatever these new precious metals are, and then that's pretty much it, you know? Yeah, there's only three options. Coke, yeah. Sprite, or some new concoction that'll probably be kind of boring that all the Hodinky freaks say. Oh yeah, a black, black, black with a uh, jubilee I'm bracelet. I'm tired of hearing about the fucking black, black, black. I know. I don't. I personally don't like the watch, but if they did that, I mean, Hodinky would go crazy. It's a good watch, but it's been. It was done for like, what did they do that for? Twelve years? Like we're good. We're all set. Black, black, black. Yeah, there were. It had a long production run. Yeah, we're all set on that. So, but that's a layup. I mean, that is a layup. You got to, you know, let's be honest. If they did that, you'd be like, oh, it's pretty, you know, not, not innovative, but people would buy it for sure. The, the, all the dorks like me with under seven inch wrists would clamor to that, right? They'd all go for it. So yeah. easy layup for Rolex if they do that. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm still excited. I think Rolex is going to pull something out of their ass this year. That's going to take us all by surprise. Yeah. You know? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like they've already made their best stuff. As controversial as that sounds. Okay. Like, there's cool stuff. Like, if you think about last year, if you're collecting Rolex, they made some mm -hmm. really great stuff. But if you're getting a, a watch, it's kind of like, eh. Like, the stuff they already had was better than the stuff they made. Yeah. You know, the stuff they already have was better than the stuff they made. Yeah. I maybe this is biasum because I have the, the new sermon, but I like the new green versus the old green. I saw the old green in person and right. I held my watch next to it. But, but that's a watch collector's watch. The yeah. My point here is there's already a Black Submariner, which is 
you know, if you're going to have one watch, you get the black. You don't get a sermon. Yeah, you know that's true. But like yeah. they're, they're making uh, a rosé. They're making rose. uh, better stuff for people that are collecting Rolex, but the base mm -hmm. model Rolex is, it's already there, you know? Yeah. I'm excited yeah. for that Guilloche dial, 1908. That's going to be pretty cool. If it's a 1908, we think it's a 1908, but again, we don't know. I'm pretty sure. I mean, what else could it be on, really? Cellini? Well, the Cellini's gone. It's 1908. I know. Like, what, they bring back the Cellini and that, you know, that could be the thing? I don't think so. I think well, it's like, going to be on the 1908. Well, like, you know how we, you know how sick we are. Me and you have a, a bad disease. Oh, dude, I'm terminal. We're I'm terminal. ready to go. Like, people, th like, I, I get a lot of abuse for it, but people don't, because you haven't been in the community in a long time. People don't know that you're also there with the contemplation Dude. all the time. I don't mean this as like an attack at you, but like I think it's the other way around. People have known for a long time. I've been flipping since the Archie days. No, I'm not even talking about flipping. I'm talking no. about you're always figuring out, you know, oh. do I move into this best thing or do I go wide with these three? Right. That's always oh, the dude. question. Yeah. Yeah. I only ask these questions to like three people. And I nobody know. else. I don't want people to know how indecisive and crazy I am. So it goes like Buckley, Diego, and then Meech. And I bug you with the same three questions yeah. I almost every day. Well, that they can buy one and then they're fine, and then they buy another and then they're fine. Oh no, yeah. I'm not that guy. I can't. I have to keep it rotating. But I got to tell you, Lolex. Yesterday I went to um, my my guys were installing a project near AP House. Yeah. And the Booker there, me packing Booker. So I went to both after the project was over. And it, okay. it fucked me all up. Why? Because I went to, I have this guy at AP House that I'm talking to uh, since October, right? Like back and forth. So I go into AP. AP House is awesome. I mean, it's the best. Like, if you're going to go anywhere, you go to AP House. It's just you feel like a million bucks in that place. Um, and he's, you know, he's like, hey, you know, we were talking about the offshores. He's like, I have something available. Let me go get it. Right. Okay. So he pulls out an offshore. It was too much money. It was a $60,000 offshore, but it was fucking beautiful. Like, when you put it on my wrist, the thing just sings. Okay. You know? So then, so then I'm like, no, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of trying to figure out, uh, you know, which one I want. And he's like, look, he's like, you only need one offshore. You know, unless you get like a real collectible God, one. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's like, you only need one offshore. And he's like, look, as soon as you get that offshore, the next one is any steel Royal Oak you want. And then I was like, fuck, why'd you say that? I know, right? That's why'd you say that? You might like, as well get that in writing at that point. Be like, I was like, why did you do that? that? I was like, why? Why'd you hook me in with that? Like, do you yeah. know who you're dealing with? He's like, and, but he was super cool about it. He's like, I don't care if it takes three months, six months. He's like, just pick the one you want. And he was giving me like the wink, wink, hint, hint. Like, mm -hmm. you can't tell this. He's like, pick the one you want, and then from there, it's all Royal Oaks. I'm like. That's a that's an interesting value proposition. So I'm like, okay, I leave, right? I'm, I'm I leave because the fucking things are they're forty two grand a pop. These aren't yeah. cheap, right? Yeah, they're not. Very so expensive. I leave, I leave, I go into Bucher, and some some backstory. The Bucher that I was dealing with, the whole staff was fired. So I have this big purchase history, and no no staff. So it's basically like starting at zero, but better than zero because they're like, oh. You've been buying watches, like we'd love to have you, kind of thing. As long as yeah, you're like, at so, the same time, go on, go on. But yeah, so I walk in and I just got, I got super lucky, and mm -hmm. I had the the most senior guy in the place, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Do you want to see anything?" I'm like, "Yeah, you have a full gold bluesy in the front," and I don't, I never really, I've never put the full gold bluesy on. I've only seen it out in the wild. Right. Yeah. So I put it on, dude. I think the full gold bluesy was fucking made for me. I mean, yeah, I, I was surprised when he sold that bluesy. 
I know it's a completely different caliber, but like oh, yellow it's gold, Submariner, Sun. Can we back up? Can we back up for a second? Can we back up and finish the AP conversation, and we'll talk Rolex? That was the well. I'm thinking the real watches. I'm going to circle. No, 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 no. No, you should. Okay. So here's there's a point to where I'm going with this. Yeah, Yeah. Right. So I try that on. It's fucking. It, it's just my my personality, right? It fits perfect. Okay. He's like, look, he's like, look, you know, you're. I, he'd look me up. He's like, you're a valuable customer. He's like, if if over there you're not having any luck, any luck, we'd love to have you here. Um, he's like, if you're gonna get a yellow gold piece, you know, should I put this one in because you could leave with this one today, right? So I'm like, ah, you know, I'd love to see a yellow gold Daytona. I've only seen one of like five or six that are available. He's like, okay, so if I get some yellow gold Daytonas in, I'll have you come back and you could look at them before I sell them. So now I got I got this decision, right? Here's the decision. Do you go yellow gold Rolex and shut down for – for me, I'd have to shut down for a year. No more watches for a year, mm -hmm. right? Or – do you take a leap of faith into the AP journey? It's fucking hard, dude. Because all I had yeah. left, all I would have is a date just in both situations. You, right? you, you, you had me. You had me at the offshore until you brought the journey back in, and I. You, I know you're going to call me a jerk off for having this conversation, but like. If you want the offshore, get the offshore. Like it's going to fit you amazingly. I loved it. That's great. Get it. But you can't do the journey. So if you, the, at the point at which you're attracted to the fact that this gets you that, stop, stop, stop. Because the, the, we, I know we all, we all joke about it. It's a fun thing and your battle with AP. But like the truth is, you can get with the people that you know you can get any ap that you want and the real club the, the the best royal oak is when you get a royal oak as your first piece and that's the fun group like the fun group is everybody who got a royal oak as their first ap and so if you want a royal oak that should be your first ap it really, it really, really should be. If if the offshore is what you like and you're good with that, it, let me back up. Never buy an offshore unless that's your unless that's your last AP. If that's what you want and you're done, get the offshore. It's great. But if you ever want a Royal Oak, that should be your first AP. And I know you're gonna say, yeah, well, like bullshit aside, if you really do. We're not talking a jumbo. We're talking a 41, 41. chrono or four. Yeah, like it's anyway. very, it's very, very doable. All joking aside, if you're going to get a Royal Oak, it's very important that your the Royal Oak is your first AP because it's like how it expl it's like definitely like you know it's like you can you can lose your virginity to some whatever or like. Fuck a supermodel. Like, definitely fuck a supermodel the first no. time. Like, it's, get it's, a Royal Oak as your first AP. It's better. Prop, so here's – so, you know, like, okay, I'm not someone who believes in astrology, but you've all heard, like, you don't fuck your own sign. You don't marry your yeah, own yeah, sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you don't you don't bang a Vir – I'm a Virgo. You don't bang another okay. Virgo and marry them, right, because you'll kill yeah, each yeah. other. Yeah. This is the – this is me and AP. I have an issue with the a AP as a company – because they're just like me. I'm a fucking psychotic asshole on fire at all times. And that's what AP is. But I love their watches because they fuck it. They fit. They fit me perfect. So it's it's just this balance of like, I want to bang you, but I don't want to marry you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so this is, again. You understand what I'm saying, right? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And so this is the thing I was – the point I was trying to make the other night is the key to AP in – I would say the key to AP in Vacheron is you can't deal with salespeople. You have to be dealing with the brand direct. You have to be dealing with 
Audemars Piguet, you cannot be dealing with boutiques. And you know enough people in the community, if that's what you really want to do, you can yeah. play at that level. And it's the same thing with Vacheron. Like when you're talking to uh, Patek is different because Patek only sells to, you know, Patek is like Rolex. They only sell to resellers, but Vacheron and AP sell direct to consumer. And if you're going to buy a Holy Trinity and the fact that two out of these three brands are, are, you know, whatever D to C direct to consumer, that is the, the whole point of AP and Vacheron is to be dealing D to C. That's the game. And I yeah. think, I think when I was, you know, go back six months ago when I was drunk and rambling on about the club and getting in the club and all this and like yeah. in the club means you're, you're dealing with a brand. You're not dealing with some jerk off sales associate. And yeah. then you get, then you get what you want. And then what they do is they understand what do you want and they'll, they will make that happen. And if you're ever going to get a Royal Oak, getting a Royal, like getting a, you never, if you're going to own a Royal Oak, it should be your first piece because it's just, then it's better than everybody else's Royal Oak, who was their fourth piece. Like then, then you're not that jerk off. Like you gotta, you gotta get it as your first piece. And I know I'm not, my phone is plugged in inside in the other room and I can't see it. So I can't read the chat. And so I know that's an asshole thing to say, but it's not that hard. Like we're not talking about, we're, we're not talking about Patek. Like it, it's not that hard with AP. You like, I, I think the decision, it's a twofold. I'll shut up in a second. Do, it, do you want to own a Royal Oak? Yes. No. Oh, if yeah. the answer is yes, Yes. That needs to be your first. That needs to be your first. That needs to be your first AP. Definitely uh, needs to be your first. AP. Everybody, everybody, like I said, everybody knows that I want to have a Royal Oak. Everybody knows it. I I went that, to, uh, Rose. Look, I went to Vegas. Right, we went to Vegas. There's like thirty of us. There's pictures of it. Everybody's seen the pictures, and everyone is. You know, everyone, everyone there is great. But when you look at everybody. It's like, yeah, these are a bunch of Daytona guys, right? There, there's a bunch of Daytona guys walking around, which is cool, right? Yeah. Daytona or Aquanaut, right? Or Nautilus. Yeah. And yeah. then you have this fucking big doofus in a big bl in a black T-shirt. Well, everyone else is dressed nice. I'm in a black T-shirt in the back, 50 pounds heavier, an inch bigger in the wrist. I'm made for this asshole brand AP because I'm an asshole. Yeah. That's it. People, 100%. And this, the issue I have is they're better at being an asshole and I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would say you're equally matched. Like you're equally, you're definitely equally assholes. So uh, the, like yesterday I realized this because the, the sales rep that I started talking to, the guy's super, the guy's great, right? The one previously at a different location was a total prick, like not in a good way, in a, in a bad way to the point where, Everybody complains about him. There's Reddits about this guy. Um, but I went there and I'm dealing with, you know, they got their they got their blue suit okay. and they got their white sneaker. You know how they roll, right? But the guy that's managing the boutique, he brings out the watch. He's in a fucking black t-shirt and jeans wearing the, the uh, white gold jumbo, right? And I thought... That's that's what AP's deal is. When everybody else shows up in a suit, they show up in a t-shirt not giving a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's what rich people do. It's so but the event is so much more fun when you show up in the t-shirt and not just a t-shirt. Like you show up in a Washington Redskins t-shirt. You show up in like you know you don't need to wear the black t-shirt. You, you, you show up in the just, I don't give a fuck. I'm here, whatever. Um, I'm not trying. And the game is, the game is more, hold on two seconds. Somebody talk. I got to switch for a second. Okay. So, um, Commanders. Oh, here's the other problem, Lolex. Here's the other problem. Yeah. 
that full gold oyster bracelet always has me by the balls. I Why can't so? do, I can't do both in the same year. Right? You're talking 80,000 in watches. I can't do both in the same year, right? That's, that's like so much money. So much money. <laughs> I can't do both in the same year. But I can yeah, do yeah. one. I can do one. So mm-hmm. it's just a matter, but but now Rose is telling me he's like, just skip the there might be a way to skip the line. Okay. I think you can, man. Everything is changing so much. I think you could do it. Honestly. So I did, I did feel oh, that guy. Lolex, I did feel that. Mm-hmm. When because the guy basically said he said it in a way that was like, look, if you buy this offshore, I'll get you the goddamn Royal Oak next. Like, no questions. Asked. And they don't say stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, they'll hint at it. And if you're in good with them, they'll say it, but not yeah. that way. He was saying mm-hmm. it, and it, it, it came off, not desperate, but it came off as like, things are harder than they used to be. And yeah. we're aware, and we know you're aware, but yeah. we're, we still have to do this for the time being. But they might not have to do that soon. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I showed you that photo of what these dealers are offering fucking green subs. I mean, everything is... People aren't buying anymore, man. So it's not out of the realm that you could score a, a Royal Oak on your first purchase. It's not that crazy. It's not. It's New York City. It's it's kind of well, crazy. Yeah. yeah. But you got to figure still, what is what is retail on that, on a Royal Oak? Let's just say a stainless steel 20, Royal Oak. 27 and change. 28,000, almost 30 grand. I don't know, man. I don't know if the demand is there as it used to be for a $30,000 watch. Hey, Mer- we got America. Look at this. What's up, America? Look at this. What's up, guys? How's it going? Rose, Rose, you want to hear something? Yeah, yeah. I'm. I opened a bottle of rosé just to have this conversation with you. How do you feel about that? He summoned you like a genie, rosé. So um, I I missed a little bit. Sorry. They uh, so I've already admitted that I'm a douche. So I'm, I'm in a, a club. Place. Okay. Okay. So I'm in a club, and they're I can stay here as long as I want, but they're shutting down the alcohol service, and so they're like, <laughs> take everything you want now. So I walk like I got. I got six Modellos. Out Hell of the yeah. Fridge, and then I poured, I literally have three glasses of wine filled up to the brim. And I'm like, this will, I'm good. Uh, this will get me through the chat. So at any rate, yeah, there I'm a go. total, total douche. I'm drinking. to get Rosé on the plane. I am drinking Sauvignon Blanc and Modelo Especial. So I'm a alcoholic douche. Yeah. See, you could you ruined it. You could have been a fuckboy if you had a bunch of Miller lights and uh, maybe a cabin bay. America, you got the burp going on. So, what is the but burp? I'll, is that a is that a mic thing? The burp is when yeah. you talk and at the end of each sentence it goes. Bleh. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, I'm getting a call. One second. Go. Well, anyways, I didn't want to. I don't want to revert back the conversation. I missed a minute, but all I was saying was. If you're going to get a Royal Oak, it's important that that's your first piece. And like, that's, that's the club. That's the club that everybody got the piece that they wanted first. Um, And AP knows that AP knows the people that they want to just get the pieces that they want. And then everybody else that they're going to talk about. Like if AP ever talks to you about a journey, they're basically saying to you like, yeah, like whatever like go fuck yourself we're, we're we're happy to sell you watches pendant on the market and what's up and what's down but like whatever whatever mm-hmm. like the, like when they like you every conversation ends with and if you need anything please let us know and that's why i think people mm-hmm. miss like they're so good to the people that they want to be good to and they're huge assholes, the people that they want to be assholes to. And they have perfected that art. Um, and they've perfected the art of making people think they're in one of those conversations when in fact they're in the other conversation and it goes both ways. So uh, they're like, they're, they're the, yeah, they're assholes. So let me, let me, let me go this route too, because I have been 
at this point, I've been to five AP, uh, five or six APs. Yeah. Um, I have noticed a tremendous difference in the way an AP house slash material goods AP mm -hmm. treats people versus AP the brand with a boutique. Yep. And AP the, house is the future of the brand. That's where AP, it's headed. A hundred, look, I was shocked. I went into AP house and everyone told me, oh, you, it's going to be fucking brutal. They're going to hate you. Listen, mm -mm. Mm -mm. they were fantastic at AP house. Yeah. I went to the regular AP and the fucking place felt like a like yeah. a church. Like, don't make a peep. Yeah. Don't speak. Don't even look at us. You know, don't ask for anything. And I know a lot of people shop on 57th Street. I know. But mm -hmm. that ain't it, from what I could tell. No, it's not. It's not. Um, you're exactly right. So the AP house, that's the future of the brand. Um, AP wants to move. AP wants to move their key collectors to just obviously dealing with AP, not dealing with boutiques or anything like that. And so the future of the brand is that they're going to build AP houses around. And there's not going to be this idea of you're in New York, you should deal with your New York boutique. It's going to be that you have a relationship with AP and so I'm advocate. I'm obviously I'm advocating to build an AP house in DC because it's such an international city. And the argument there is you have so many huge collectors passing through. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going from here to there, but I'm going to be in DC. Let me do a layover for a night. I'll go to the AP house and that's where I'll pick up my piece. And so the future of the brand is that the AP house is going to be where you pick up your piece and then the rest of the year, it's where you hang out and wear your piece. And that's where the brand is headed. The boutiques, they're phasing them out. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah. AP House is pretty cool. Okay. I wish I I'm so angry that my first introduction was just this shitty AP thing with, you know, an AD <laughs> that has two and a half salespeople in it. Oh, if I had started with AP House, it would have been a completely different story. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So what what piece do you actually want? Have you picked out? So, I mean, so, you're thinking about the journey, like get an offshore, but then you want the gem. What's your gem? Well, Rose, Rose is making an argument that that doesn't need to be done. Yeah, yeah. That's what let's, I'm saying. What What is your – yeah, okay. what do you want? So let's play the game here. I'm gonna share screen. Hold on. Let's do it. Let's play. Let's play. Uh, who wants let's to be? Play, let's play. Stuff <laughs> more what they can't afford. Let's Remember do that? that. Remember that show with Regis? <laughs> that show. That show who is the reason. To be a millionaire. That, that show created the idea of people wearing ties the same colors as their shirt is entirely because of Regis Philbin, like mono. Right. Oh mono yeah, that was. Just, yeah, that yeah. And Regis right. Philbin created all monochromatic menswear. So, uh, okay. Right, what are we looking at? So, all of this is unheard of. This is America, just like you. They brought this out, and they're like, "You can buy this right now if you want it." Yeah, I was offered that like a month ago. And I, it was it was a beautiful watch. It's just too much money. Yep, it's overpriced by twenty k. So I originally went in um, and I wanted this one. Right? Because the color. I love I love mm -hmm. green. Yeah. I mean this is cool. Yeah. So, yeah. so I tried this on. It's cool piece. Really, it's cool piece. I really yeah. liked it, but I was kind of like, you know, it's a little bit it's a little bit loosey goosey, and then when you tighten it one more, it's a little bit a little bit heidi tidy, right? Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of an issue. So the guy was like, if you want an offshore, because, you know, they don't they don't consider price. It's AP, right? They'll just tell you, like, look, go this route. And, you know, then you find out you're paying 15 grand more, which is expected. But you got to be careful. And he pulled this bad boy out. OK. 
This 43 with the update to the case wears way more comfortably than the 42. And I said to him, how is it possible that this is more comfortable? And he said, I don't know, but everybody says the same thing. The 43, the new design, is way more comfortable on the wrist than the 42. Yeah, he's like, I own, he said, I own the 42. Yeah. And he's like, if I were you, I wouldn't buy the 42 because if you have a sweaty day or whatever, it's not going to be enjoyable. And look. You can say that to sell an extra 13 grand, which I get. It's like asking the waiter what's the best thing at the restaurant to eat, and he says the tomahawk. Fine. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's AP, and a 12 grand doesn't make a huge difference. And I could physically feel the difference. So this watch in person, as far as offshores go, really kind of had me by the balls. Um. Six hundred dollars for a rubber strap, Jesus! Yeah, it's insane. But if you look at this, the gray works, the black works, this like taupey color works. The green diver, mm -hmm. nothing works besides the green, nothing. Yeah, nothing. So, and and the guy basically said, you know, going back to this whole journey thing, he's like, look, you buy this shit. Next thing is any any color royal look you want in steel, you got it if you buy this. Jesus, what would you get? So, what would be your first choice? Um, as far as Royal, as far Oak. as Royal Oaks, yeah. Well, if I had an if I had a chrono in the offshore, I'd probably go with a three hander. And okay. I like I'm one of the weirdos that actually really like the black. Okay. Um, but I would I probably would push for a blue because the mm -hmm. blue is like that's the icon, right? Right. That's the one. You know, like I would rather be told like blue is impossible and ask and then mm -hmm. rather than not ask and just ask for a black. I like the gray also. Eddie Mav has the gray. You're missing yeah. Buckley. 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 Yeah. You're yeah. you're missing your own point. At the you're once look, you have you have preached about this I know, I know. for I know. four months. Yeah. At the point in which the guy that you're talking to starts talking to you about a journey. I know, I know. What that what you've immediately realized is I'm dealing with the jabroni. You never ever transact ever with someone that talks to you about a journey. You never buy a watch from someone who talks to you about, but if you get this, you can get that. You never do that. Right. That's that's why I'm making this a topic right now because I basically I didn't give them anything. I was like, look, I'll you know, we'll talk, but right. I'm like, I'm not getting sucked down this hole again. Let me go find out what's real. Right. Because AP is but, AP is dangerous. Like Rolex is easy. Rolex when, is fucking, right. But when the yeah, guy says in and out. when the guy says whenever the word if comes into the conversation, the guy says, Well, if you get this, then you say so oh sorry, sorry. Sorry, I thought I was dealing with the man. Stop the conversation. Let me just let me talk to your boss because I'm not. We're done. I'm not dealing with you. I'd like to talk to somebody who can actually make things happen. Obviously, you don't say it in those ways. You yeah. don't say it. That's not the language. My point is like you just real like you just realize you're dealing with the assistant to the assistant regional manager. Yeah, because those guys have to pitch the journey, and this isn't this isn't me, this is Buckley. Like I'm, I'm. This is Buckley talking to Rose, except I'm Buckley and you're Rose. Like this is that guy. What he's telling you? Well, if you buy this, then you're going to get this. Fuck no! Like stop, stop. No, you're justifying. You're justifying an offshore purchase, and I'm not saying offshores aren't good. I'm not saying the offshore wouldn't look great on you. I'm not saying you wouldn't like that watch, but like you're missing your own plot. That's not the watch you want. You're right. No, you're right. I can't even argue it. It's a watch I like. I'd wear it. Is it the first, my first pick? No, it's not my first pick. Right. You're right. I'm not going to argue. You got to get what you like, Buckley. I know. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of 
off off stream research and uh, conversation. Let me. <laughs> would you be will, would you be willing to spend a thousand dollars in travel costs? Oh yeah, att- attending things like you know going around thousand bucks to make sure that the um is the is the forty one chrono is that in green? That does come what, in green, yeah. To get to get a forty one chrono in green as your first piece. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's actually out of, out of the chronos. That's my favorite steel chrono is the green. Take um, a look. What up? Where the hell is it? This website. I can't respond to Boston. I see your comments. I can't respond to you because then we're just going to start arguing. I hear <laughs> what you're saying. saying. I hear what I hear what you're saying. We we dis we disagree respectfully. We disagree, and I can't figure out how to get my. I'm on my phone, so I can't get. I can't figure out how to get my phone to join the chat on Streamyard. But come on, come on, if you want to talk. There you go. No, he shouldn't. He shouldn't buy gray. He shouldn't buy gray. I'm telling you, he needs to. He needs to just get into the circle, and I'm, Buckley can get into the circle. Okay. Yeah, look, we don't need to make the whole stream about me or believe, you know, we don't need to do that. This is just a good topic, I felt. No, it's a good topic. It's a good topic. But the green, good topic. Look, I'm not a huge fan of the blue ever since they changed the sub okay. Um The silver is pretty nice. I don't like the black and the chrono that much, and I think the green is the best one. I don't know why. What? It's one of those yeah. things. Yeah. It's a nice watch. The I can see it. The green I can see great. it happening, Buckley. Forty thousand dollars so, though. Jeez. So so like the answer to this the answer to this problem is really simple. You need to make Ginny you need to make Ginny like you. That's that's very simple. Okay. And that's very doable. Okay. I will say no more. All right. Well, that's the end of the Royal yeah. conversation. Let's talk about yeah, Rolex. Sign your we shoes, about, sorry, Rolex. Sorry, sorry. Let's talk about Rolex. Let's talk Rolex. about fucking Ugh, boring. Everybody's nothing. Boring. Nothing that came out, and then I'll shut up. Everyone's speculating about all these picks and everything, and new stuff will come out and whatever. It's mm-hmm. fine. There was no gotta haves. And I would argue there hasn't been a gotta have in like forever years and forever. Even like even the Lamar, which is the greatest freaking Rolex supposedly that's ever come out in the history of freaking Rolex. I mean, yeah, that's what they're everybody, marketing. Yeah, everybody likes it. Everybody wants it, but it's not like a gotta have. It's not mm-hmm. a. Yeah. You, nobody would. People wouldn't sell their. They wouldn't sell their like the emotional pieces. It's not a got to have. And Rolex, they, they, they're they struggling to put out a got to have. Let me ask you something, Rosé. If they had released yeah. the Le Mans in stainless steel, would it have been a got to have? Yeah. You think yeah, so? Yeah, probably. I think so. I mean, I think, no, look, for me, let's be honest. Like, I would sell both of you to the Gestapo in a heartbeat <laughs> to get to get a Lamont at retail. Like I would say, Rose would sell us to Epstein. Yeah, in a, a moment, a moment, a in a moment. Not even, not even a, not even a Lamont for a deep, for a reasonable shot for a fifty percent chance at getting a Lamont, dude. Yeah, in bye a heartbeat. Bye. I'm bye just, bye and I'm just being on. I'm just being honest. Hey, you're um, um, like I'm, I, I, I love the watch. I think it's awesome. I think, I think it's totally appropriately hyped. I think it's amazing. Mm-hmm. That it's said, perfect. yeah, go on. In steel, in steel, I would, I would start spreading lies just <laughs> so that I could eventually sell you to the Gestapo to get a steel Lamar. Yeah, I mean. Hundred percent. I think you're totally right. It'd be it'd be like people would right. be people be would be streets. 
the, people would be like selling their brothers and sisters in laws and all of that. Yeah, yeah. It would be. It would. Yeah. And that's why I they'll mean, never yeah. do it. They'll never. Do I it. mean, if if they if they had turned that into the new black Daytona, mm-hmm. I mean, that oh would've, yeah, that would have been nuts. Everybody so that's what they should have done. That's what. That's exactly. Done. That's exactly yeah. what they should have done. There shouldn't the black should have just become the Lama, mm-hmm. and then people would be shooting each other in the streets. Yeah, I'd yeah. cause a ruckus. Yeah, but this 100%. is like. Here's the thing, though. I understand AP, and I get everybody's like. I get the attraction to it, but when you look at this, it is a solid gold. It's so good. It's so good. Great. It's just a chunk of gold on your wrist. It's like this looks like something okay. a pharaoh would wear, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's not so. appreciated the way it should be. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm 100%. I can't pull off I, – I can't pull off a yellow gold sub. Um, so I have to do the – I have to do the white. So if you can't pull off yellow gold, the thing about white gold – is um, if you can't pull off yellow gold, you do white gold because then you say, well, it's the stealth flex. Mm -hmm. And there's truth to that, but I'm being honest. Like some of it is just because I can't, like a yellow gold sub, if I'm walking down the street, someone's going to punch me in the face and take my yellow gold sub. Like I just can't, I can't rock it. Um, But I think it's like Buckley, hands down. It's awesome. And you gotta have the gravitas for a thing like this. I you gotta have the have gravitas. But me. like full gold. Like I mean, Buckley already knows this. He's already rocking full gold Rolex bracelet is so good. There's nothing else like it. I and don't know, then man. yeah. Full gold oyster bracelet. It's like yeah, it's like it's stand in front of the mirror naked just wearing your yellow gold <laughs> sub. Have we not all that's, been then? It's have that's we, how good it is. It's that good. Have we, have we not all been naked wearing have a we, Rolex before? <laughs> You're a fucking liar if you say no. Right. Just admit. Yeah. Just admit you've looked you've looked in the mirror and said, Yeah, man, I'd fuck yeah, that. I'd, I'd fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd bang that guy in that yellow gold Rolex. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> You tell me, like, yeah. is this better than a stainless steel AP? Is it that much better? You know, which it's one are you right. choosing? Me, it's I right. might grab this. Well, Please the break. thing that AP AP bracelets AP bracelets sparkle in a way that nothing else matches. I mean, they are so like Rolex gold is is manly. AP gold is sexy. It's really mm. sexy. Um, oh well, yeah. It's so sexy, and like once you, yeah, once you put on full gold AP, you get like, yeah, like you you feel like the blood starts flowing. It's so sexy, dude. When Jeff handed me his rose gold blue dial forty one, yeah. Whoa, I mean that was like. <sighs> Shit. One from six to midnight. Yeah, I mean, that that was that was a different that was a different thing. I yeah. mean, I've tried on platinum Rolex. That's a different thing. I've tried on rose gold, yellow gold, which is amazing. But a rose gold AP is a different fucking yeah. animal. Well, let me like, ask you guys something. If they release the 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 solid gold Hulk, so sunburst green dial. Green bezel. Oh man, dude. are you guys in on that? Is that something you're? Dude, I in? would, I would. The things I would do, the things Let's like get into detail, the things you would do to us, Rose. <laughs> the places you would like, send us. Oh no! Like so, let's go. Like ob- like what what we were talking about earlier, like make out for thirty seconds or whatever it is. Like yeah, that's no problem. Like <laughs> I would, I would do things. I would like for us for a white gold solid white gold hulk i would do things that i would like that i would never white gold no he white gold no 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 
you know. no so i'm saying i'm saying ta- okay yeah no that i wouldn't that i wouldn't but if you took the hulk the cur- the, the previous hulk and mm-hmm. just re-released it in white gold um white gold green bezel green dial i would literally call up rolex and turn every one of you in in a moment i, I, like, I would do it for rolex. flipping anything Luckily. anything I would I would call up Rolex and be like, "How many names do I have to give? Because I got names until I can get this watch." And all of you would hate me, but you'd be like, "Dude, man, he was he was one. We would you would have all done. You'd be like he was one step ahead of us. We were we. He was making the phone call while we were on hold trying to make the exact same phone call. Dave Kaiser Soze us. Boston said Rosé would be the main attraction at the P. Diddy party for a white gold Hulk. Ooh. Dude. Jeez, Louise. Dude. Um, so I just did – I don't want to dox myself. Um, so I just did a little, uh, a little boat tour. I did a little booze cruise tonight, and we went, nice. past, we went past P. Diddy's house. Um, and I'm not sure it's the one that the, they raided. Okay, I, I think it's the one they. Were, it was obviously dark and empty, um, and I gotta say, like in the Miracle Mile, we we're looking at the houses, like mm-hmm. the pharma guys. So, like the guy that uh, oh Viagra, Viagra. yeah, the Vi- yeah, yeah, like that guy's house compared to P Diddy's. I mean, he's like big house. He's a big yeah. house. That guy yeah. took over what four lots, right? Yeah, yeah. And he paid, I think he paid like 50, 60 million, like 20 yeah. years ago. Now, yeah. now you're talking like, I don't know, half a bill. Yeah. And then <laughs> some other, some other dude bought J-Lo and A-Rod's house literally mm-hmm. to demolish and make a helipad. And the only reason he hasn't demolished it is he hasn't gotten the permits yet. And so he's buying five lots and J-Lo's house to him is like, it's a parking lot. He's trying to build a parking lot. Um, the 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 music guys they had nice houses. Look, they were all beautiful. Yeah. But the the pharma guys, they they, they nice yeah yeah it was it was apples and oranges. Like there was it was no comparison. It's nuts. It's nuts. Damn. The the it Star was- Island Venetian Island area of Miami. Yeah. It doesn't. If you want a waterfront home. I don't think it gets higher than that. Yeah, it might. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a fucking, uh, you know, grain of sand on the beach. But mm. I don't know if it gets better than that at those those yeah. houses with that view, having yeah. a yacht in the backyard. I I don't know. I don't know. In the U.S., I don't think you could do better. So let here's me tell the you only. Something. Let me tell you guys something. Uh, fucking Eddie, Eddie's area in Seattle. I've had to go out there before. Seattle. For work. Listen to me. Listen to me, dude. Seattle. It's it's fucking on ocean. Ocean. Hold on. Hold on. You're, I had to take a boat ride that went all around Seattle and the, the islands and stuff like that. Dude, they have waterfront homes that are right on the beach that are like $3 million. Yeah, but you can only use that beach two or three months a year. Otherwise, you're imagine, fucking imagine. Imagine they're two to three months, Buckley, but for three million dollars. That's look, not a lot of Miami money. Miami is Ocean full. Point. Listen, Miami is full of like Rose said. These pharma finance guys. Oh they're yeah. All what? Here's what they do, Lolex. This is what happens. Mm-hmm. They take the suit and the tie, and, the, and this they they're balding. All of them are balding from the stress. Nothing wrong with that. Right? And Nothing the, wrong with that. The DHT from the testosterone because they're driven. They're fucking driven psychos, right? So they're all balding, and they take the wool suit off, and they get down to Miami. And you know what happens? They start saving on taxes, and then they start getting TRT injections so they can feel better. And then all of a sudden, it becomes a T-shirt blazer with a buzzed head and an RM. And then it's it's over because they realize this is so much better. Is When you trade... When you trade your thinning hair for yeah. a bald head and you trade your suit for a blazer t shirt, you transcend down on Star Island, you don't get higher. You don't get higher. There is no yeah. higher. You've accepted reality. And yeah. You transcend it to your final form. I'm you, ready. You, that's it. And then what happens is if you're divorced, which a lot of them are, 
it, it's all 25 year old Cuban women till you die. Exactly. Yeah. Or Russian. You pick your whatever one you want to do. Well, I guess I'm going but, to fucking Miami. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, but, it's the best. But the problem with shaving your head is it's you can't make that a given. Like, you don't know. Like, my head is it's fucking ugly. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's it's like bumpy and nasty. It's not it's not good. It's not good. You don't, and you don't so, have a beautiful Boston boston skull well like i'm obviously i'm obviously like my i was born i was born with thin hair uh-huh. and it's only got it's only gotten thinner um and friends of mine have done they're like eff it just shave your head and they all they all look good but they have good domes and like I mean, I don't want to, we, we shouldn't go there. I don't want to get nasty tonight. But like, I, I remember years ago when I was like popping head zits and nasty. Like, I just assume it's a minefield under there. You know why? We can't, we can't <laughs> shave this down. You're going to, if I, if I shave my head, that means I'm always going to have to wear like a, a hipster beanie because you're going to look at my scalp and you're like, dude, yeah, no, 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 no. no, no, no Here's where you're missing it. Like this, this is the thing. This is why it doesn't. It's happen. ugly. It's ugly. In New York, they all cover it with longer haircuts. They think they're covering it. They're not, but they they do it with longer haircuts, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, here's the element you're missing. Is that's you what get, I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now, and it's bad. It's bad. When you get down to Florida, right, and you get the vitamin D, you start yeah. listening, and then and then you get the tan. So a tan bald head. Is very different than a pale bald head. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And a bald head in their fifties, getting juiced to the gills by a doctor and being fucking vibrant, is very different than a bald head up in the northeast freezing their ass off with a pouch over their fucking jeans. You know what I'm saying? It's a different thing. You go from you're leaving it behind. You're you're moving. What they do, what these guys do, is they go from nine figures and then they morph super saiyan into bald bald testosterone uh tan billionaires down in florida because of what they save on taxes right yeah you just gotta be willing to make that shift all of a sudden you're never wearing you're never wearing a patek philip again because all you have is rm and you don't know any like you don't know one day you wake up and you're worth 900 million the next day you're worth 1.2 billion and you don't have aquanauts anymore you just have rm it just happens down there i mean there is something look the dudes walking around right so obviously pasty white and i'm i'm very pasty white pasty white is rarely attractive but i'm fit like i'm i'm in shape but I'm very like I'm very white. I'm very like I'm I'm really white. You're translucent. Yeah, like I'm like um Look, look, Rose, you know what you gotta do? You just gotta Barry Stern lift it. But but there are these dudes look do you know what I'm talking these... about? Do you guys know yes. Barry Stern lifted? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna pull, pull it up. up. We're gonna pull, pull it up. up. This is pull this it is up. exactly what I mean. When you go from New York freezing your ass off paying high taxes and you go down to Miami, you trade your suit for a blazer and t-shirt, you Barry Stern like it. Well, so this this is what's gonna happen. So when we do the when we do the ski trip, when we do the ski trip next oh, year. Buckley's not coming. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying. No shot. I was thinking so originally I was thinking like you get a place with a hot tub, but then I realized if we get a hot tub, I'm gonna have to sit in there with freaking Diego's toe, which is going to freaking gross, <laughs> gross. Like out. when that, that dude, when he gets in the hot tub, I'm going to be like, dude, man, leave your left, like hang your left leg off to the side. Don't put it in here. <laughs> but at any rate, when I, when I take off, when I take off my shirt, you're, you're blinded, you're blinded by the light. But then I have to say like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop for a second. Just look, I'm not fat. I'm in shape. 
but you have to see past the pastiness, like look past the pasty whiteness. Um, but down here, these dudes, they're, they got, they all got hangovers. Like their bell, their bellies hang over, but they're definitely tan and the tan, like it just evokes money. Do you know what I mean? Like they're, they're all rocking Breitling cults, like Breitling super, look, look, super, look. whatever. It's this simple. You see that picture in the top right of Barry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His face has like fat on it. He's got the hair on yeah, the sides. And he's yeah, got the tie, yeah. right? Look what happens. Look what happens. He, he goes from that in New York, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he gets down to Miami, right? Look at this oh, motherfucker. He leans out, dude. gets rid of the oh. sides, takes the tie off. He's got the palm trees. This guy's yeah. fucking, he figured it out, right? And yeah, all sexy. Sudden, look, look at this shit. Look at this fucking guy. Look, and look what he's got on, Rose. You see yeah. what he's got on? Uh, you guys can't see it. Fucking offshore. <laughs> so if you click uh, share this tab instead, you should be able to do it. Share. So when, on the top, there's like a little share this screen thing. So click on the photo. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And real quick, Luchabetic time, five bucks. He says, there's no problem with shaving your head. I've... I've considered going buzz cut, but I'm afraid it's not going to grow back. Yeah, I'm afraid. How that works? <laughs> I'm afraid. So I want to shave it once as an ex it's just an experiment, but I'm afraid it's all going to grow back as like pubes, like like curly pubes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. To, and they uh, say, th dude, they say yeah. that happens. They say when you shave it like fully down, it grows back. Like a little messed up and mom, mm -hmm. and I don't like, dude. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm Evan's listening. This, this part of my life, guys. Look! Look how happy! Look how happy and lean Barry is nowadays. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. He made the but look. Me. But wait, now, focus! Focus in on his head, the shape of his head. Zoom in. Great, zoom in. Great head. I don't know if I can. Yeah. I don't know if I can. I don't think the I can. technology doesn't exist. So right click, open a new tab, and then right. it'll open that image full. Resolution, and then you just gotta share that. Uh, I don't think my dome. I don't think my dome is like. I don't think it's properly shaped. Mm. That's a decent dome. Yeah. Um. So if you look at his arm, like he's not jacked. He's not jacked. Oh, he's he got pretty jacked, dude. He got pretty jacked. He he lost a lot of weight because I'm telling you, he moved we'll go to like. Everybody go to, goes down there, you, you get the doctor, and they start shooting you up with all the good shit. Go to early Bezos when he was not, – not Jack oh, Bezos, okay. but, like, almost almost Jack Bezos. Like, right what, right after the divorce. Well, right now he's, he's – uh, No, now he's, now he's Jack. Yeah. I mean, look at yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm pre – I'm pre. I'm basically pre jacked. Like I'm not. You just gotta make look. It depends. If you're thinning out, you're all right. But when you start to get that spot, like if you have, if you have hair, but in the in the back, it doesn't you have a smooth spot. You gotta get rid of it. It's gotta go. Oh yeah. But the no, it doesn't matter. Is... No, I'm not. Ball... No, I have no. Ball... I have no bald spots. No bald spots. Ball spot it is doesn't when you have to go. It doesn't matter your muscles. Nothing looks good when you're pasty white. It just doesn't like. True. True. There, there are moments. So I have de I have dehydrated myself to the point where like, I'm 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 good. Like I'm I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, I'm looking good. But it's also it also looks like somebody rubbed a bunch of like white Elmer's glue all over my skin. Like it's so pasty hmm. white. Hmm. Um. <laughs> see, see, Rose, this is what happens when you, you stay up in the Northeast and you don't shave your head. You wind up looking like Ray Dalio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looks no, European. Yeah. He looks it's European. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Basically, gotta... my skin, so whoever the, the, I don't know what his name is, but the lead singer for the Smashing Pumpkins, my skin is never getting better than that guy. Oh, you're talking about... Uh... 
Fuck. And if you look at the, if you look at the shape of his head, that's probably the shape of my head. That dude's got a weird head. Oh, Henry what's his Rollins. name? He's like Henry super Rollins. into WWF, right? No, 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 no. Henry Rollins, you're talking about. No, no, not Where's Henry Rollins. Rollins. Smashing, Pumpkin. Bald, Smashing Pumpkin. Smashing Pumpkin. The bald lead singer, right? He's from yeah. Smashing Pumpkin. Yeah, no, Rollins is jacked. Ro- well, now he's not, but Rollins is a freaking killer. Oh, he's still Smashing pretty- Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins is like a D and D nerd. Google lead si- lead singer Smashing Pumpkins. This guy's bad. This is bad. He was on Rogan. Like all he talked about was wrestling. <laughs> this dude. His head's weird. Yeah, his head's weird. It's weird. He looks like a fat Norm McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> but look, look, you got to think it's better than the fucking sh- the, right. the fucking farm, the dead farm he had growing on top. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. If I told you that this guy was my brother, would you believe me? Uh, you've seen me. That. You've seen me in person. I'm just saying physically. If I said no. like, no. no. You're not that pasty. Come on. I'm pretty pasty. Ask you guys something. If I told you Adam Sandler was my brother, would you believe me? <laughs> yes. yes. I'm Absolutely. Full of Adam Sandler now. Not Absolutely. Young Adam Sandler. He's got the uh, short before the knees. Yeah. Look, look at this. Look at this. You tell me, if I said the guy all the way to the left, that first photo was my brother, would you guys be like, no, nah, no way? Come no, on. I would. Dude. You gotta, you just gotta buzz it off at some point. If it oh, gets for sure, it's gotta go. Yeah. It's gotta go. I mean, there's, there's no. Oh, you know, a great example, Bruce Willis. Yeah. Oh. Pull him up. Yeah. No one did it better. He's pretty. He's pretty pasty. If I told you he was my, if I told you he was my uncle, you'd be like, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, you gotta just Mod- you gotta- like twenty twenty four. Bruce Willis, like pasty Bruce Willis, like sick. The guy can't talk anymore. That guy, old Bruce Willis. Yeah, not muscular, not sexy Bruce Willis, but like six <laughs> months left, Bruce Willis. Oh my god! You'd be like, yeah, that, <laughs> that checks out. Bruce Willis now with Alzheimer's. Like, yeah, then that makes sense. Well known. <laughs> well known. It's well known that Bruce Willis for like two decades did nothing besides cocaine. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So is that true? You think? Yeah. Uh, look. Uh, yeah. In Hollywood, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe I wrote that one down, Rose. Look, it, it's uh, <laughs> it's it catches up to you, you know. Yeah. You got. I could do this all day for celebrities that look like me. You pull that up totally Danny DeVito as the Penguin Dude. in Batman <laughs> Two, and you tell me he doesn't look like my brother. Everything. Everything Bruce Willis has been through to be married to Demi, I'm not saying Demi, Demi, to be married to Demi Moore for for a week. Peace out. Yeah, it's totally, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. That guy. Did you say peace of ice? He's a real <laughs> piece of ice. All right. Yeah. Where's that from? That's uh, Always Sunny, right? No, that's from me. It's from my fucking beautiful mind. <laughs> that's actually, that's the opening line to Pootie Tang. Is that true? No. <laughs> I'm trying to remember Pootie Tang. I remember a lot from it, but then I don't at the same time. Fantastic. Movie. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you came on because there was a moment where I actually thought, mm. did I just make up the move? Like, I swore it was real, but there was a moment where I thought, did I just make all this up? You thought it was um, a fever dream? Did you have like, yeah. some inception dream or something? Was it a dream with, which is by just. Full stop. Great one movie. of the best. One of the best movies, ever. Oh yeah. Dream within a dream, dude. Yeah. Do you want yeah. to take a leap of faith? Dude, look how horrible his fucking hairline is in Die Hard One. That's crazy. No, you're looking at that's Die Hard Three. Is that Die but Hard Three? Go- okay. Yeah. Wait, upper he's upper got, right. He's got the iPhone. That's- he's got the iPhone notch. But look yeah. at his dome. That's a good dome. That's a good dome. Most he's people rocking. have a most people have a round head. Most people. Yeah, look at Travolta. Oh. He's rocking it. 
what yeah. defines what defines a good dome is it it's supposed to be high you, it's not you don't want it flat and i think i'm flat i think my i think i'm too flat and i'll look like a mongoloid like you want a you want a high dome i don't know. a good dome i think it i think what it comes down to is you don't want a lot of fat on your face yeah, yeah. You want you want a square jaw but a round head with no fat yeah. on his face. You can't be fat and bald. No, it doesn't work. Oh. no, no, no. That's yeah. that's bad. That's true. That's why Archie's still holding on to his hair. Oh, see, that's a perfect. Ooh. Archie, Archie got a no. He got a fade. It actually looks really good. No, no, no. no. He's got a shave. <laughs> oh, no, he got a fade recently. It actually looks really. Oh, good. Oh my god! You got when you look at yeah. You can see, see, find, see if I can find you can see it. you can see it. you can see the lice like walking around on his hair on the follicles no. and you can see the oh my god the grease is so thick if you look at like so if you've ever gone to like the the buffet super super late and when there's only like two or three pieces of bacon left and you're you're looking down at all that fat and everything yeah, it's rough. That it like rough. it feels like it feels like he walked by, took his hand and said and, and put it in there and said, Yeah, like I'm gre I'll let me grease this back. I'm good. Um when I met him for the first time, I've I've told this story before. He didn't know he didn't know who I was or anything, not that he should. Um and when I met him, instantly I had it was like it was like it was like meeting your great 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 grandfather, and I just said, "Oh, sir, like sir, please sit down. Can I get you a glass of water? Please sit down." And I could see the bacon grease just like coming <laughs> off of his head, and every, uh, it was, it was. Welcome, yeah. welcome, uh, Evan G. Oh, what's happening? Hey, Happy Evan. Friday, everyone. Oh, we're nice. talking uh, about what is the time that you decide? Okay. It's not coming back. Time to buzz it all off. Uh, man, you, you know, it's uh, – I think about that, right? Because, like, so, so my, my grandfather and, <laughs> like, his family are, wait, wait, are very can, bald. Can I say my dad, his, like, hairline is slowly receding. So far, mine seems to be holding, right? I'm holding the line. Yeah. But Evan, oh, yeah. Evan, yeah. Evan, Evan, stop for a second. This, Talk this about this good. without – this Stop, looks good for talk, me. Don't factor. So Evan is biased because he's always factoring his mustache into the equation. Don't factor your mustache. So if you were like, take the mustache out, you'd feel differently about your hair. That's fair because I'd look good with hair or not hair. So like, I understand. Yeah. So if, if you don't right. have mustache, uh, man, you, you know, it's, uh, like Bruce Willis looks good. Patrick Stewart looks good. This is Evan D. Um, so no, Evan, I have <laughs> that looks Bronson. less good. So this, so a qu a question I've always wanted to ask Evan, which is, in a world where there will be blood, doesn't exist. He still hasn't you, seen it. He do, still hasn't do you? Seen it. But he's seen that. Do you still have the same hubris? Like. Man, you, you know, yes, because I'm going for the full Kaiser Wilhelm, right? Like, so you got to Kaiser Bill owned like a third of the world that mattered. And so, yeah. you know, you, you, you have to respect that, right? Like, like Charles Bronson here, like I've seen all of the Death Wish movies, right? Like I like Charles Bronson, but like the kind of weird pencil mustache, it's a little much. Yeah, a bit much. Yeah. I had a great hair day the other day. It was like, just embrace every day that you have that, right? And, right. Uh, and so my, my hair is not like leaving or anything like that. Like I've got this great, like I still grow a great curly fro, right? Like, oh, yeah. so I'm on the Jewish side of not bald, but curly fro. So <laughs> um, I still look like disco never left. Um, there's, there's nothing wrong with saying you had a great hair day. Most of my like my many of my closest friends are homosexual but the homosexual community they make a note of it and when you say it seven times you're basically in the community <laughs> well, that's the second so, time i've said it let me, right, let so me. Five, five more and you're uh -huh. and you're gay and you're okay. and we can get we can get married 
And dude, Diego, <laughs> if that if that did it for me, I, I'd probably choose you. Oh jeez. I choose all right, no no wedding rings. I wanna I wanna watch. <laughs> so, so right. That's what you would have to do. I'm just saying, if you were entering into matrimony with a guy, you should do watches, is what I'm saying. Of Throw course, of course, of course. Let me tell you, being around the city, there are certain groups that they will that they'll let their hair go and other ones that just won't. Like Evan G said. The Jewish guys, it's tough. They don't want to. They don't want to buzz the head. Yeah, they usually yeah. got the worst hair. They just don't want to let it go. It could be mm. the the worst balding you've ever seen. They'll let it go. They they just won't buzz it. The Irish, on the other hand, the Irish will fucking day one, it's gone. You know oh I'm yeah, <laughs> Big Irish, issue. they'll chuck it out the window. Italian, they don't really have the same problem unless they're yeah. Sicilian. Then the Sicilians, they all lose it. But it, it kind of works. I don't know why. It kind of works. Yeah. Jewish guys, though, for whatever reason, they just fucking. It, it, it's one or the other. It's either bald or our Garfunkel, right? Like, yeah. and so, um, and like <laughs> for me, yeah. right? I'm a half breeder. I'm a hybrid, right? So, like, I've got like the, the Jewish side. Plus, my mom's like Minnesota German, which is Bavarian. So, like, I'm the Juber Mensch. So, I'm not sure where my hair is gonna lie. <laughs> so interesting. I'm going for an action Bronson look. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this guy's got it. I'm going to put on 100 pounds and just get fucking blasted with tattoos. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I will. I'll do it. It'll be the bad 100 pounds. Oh, no. I was going to say, if Lolix gains 100 dude, pounds. Dude, the full Steven Seagal. Just go for it. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. I'll literally... That's kind of what I look like now. I'm not far off. <laughs> you know, the thing about it, too, like, if you look up Armenian guys, or, like, at least, you know, European, Russian look, they could pull off the bald look, too. So, oh, so let me ask you guys this: Who has the best hair in the community besides Sean? Me. Sean wins. Sean has good hair. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta break it down into cuts. So, like, I would argue no, because so, if you have great hair, no, you'll, no, choose no. The, you'll choose the best cut, right? No, no, no. Like, who has the best fade? Like, oh, Buck, Buckley has Buckley has the best fade. <laughs> Sean has really good hair, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, he has a great. Who is man. who has the best like romance novel hair? Obviously, Love Sean. Him. Yeah, the right around Dude. the right amount of gray. Kimbo, uh, like, Kimbo has pretty good hair. Who has the best facial hair? Probably Evan. Probably Evan. No way, do me. I no. win. No, no one's fucking with me. I gotta yeah. think about this very carefully. Right. I gotta yeah. think about. Double dude, crowns like, up there. Dude, I'm, I'm just saying, like, so, sorry, Lolix. Like, how many countries have your facial hair like owned in the last two hundred years? Mm. Oof, well, double crown. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is just. I can grow. I can grow a thick boy if I can. I can grow a Santa Claus beard. I've never but, done it, but I could. But sure. but have you grown either the like Kaiser Wilhelm or the Franz Joseph mustache? Right. Like, have oh. you owned like two thirds of Europe? <laughs> No, no, my beard no. is really this. What you'll see in the in my avatar. It's like, but I would argue, I mean, respect it, right? So. Yeah, thank you. So then, who has the best dome? And Diego just said double D, but I feel like no, no, no. I bet, I I bet, I bet Lolex. I bet Lolex has a good dome. Like I, I, I bet he's got a good dome. I got a, I, I got a good dome. Ryan Singer's got a pretty good dome. Boston's got a good dome. Uh, yeah, that's true. Singer's got a good, but you Car's so. Got a good dome. In in any of these conversations, you gotta you can never include singer because like singer like this fucker. <laughs> yeah, he's, I, uh, he's, yeah, I fuck it. Like I I hate him because like he just this fucker. Yeah, he always comes with like the best outfit, and you're like, damn, yeah, that's yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get that? He's Gotta like this, yeah, this old thing. Oh, I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, fuck, 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 singer. Like, he's always got, I'm sure he's got the best tattoos. I'm sure he knows everybody that we don't know. He knows I'm sure he's got the best dome. He knows everybody. Like, and again, I, I feel confident saying this because I go to these stupid watch meetups going, what would Ryan Singer do? And I do the exact, <laughs> I, I'm obviously a, I'm a, 
defunct you get rubber I, bracelets right it's just like ww dude, uh, yeah yes yeah. you know what ryan <laughs> has? has he has an ability to sniff out nonsense oh yeah mini but dude you know why let me give you a little pers- a little background here he comes from an area by me he's from an area by me and this area invented modern day scams yeah they all come out of the same town. It's very well known. Like, I'm not even kidding. If he was on here, he would tell you. They invented what you know as scams. So when you come from that area, you can smell. You can always smell it. He's always the first guy that will tell me something is not kosher. And then yeah. we all find out three months, six months later, he always fucking knows. Yeah. Do you remember, we, I mean, uh, do you remember when he met Negroni? He's like, it's great to meet you. Negroni's like, yeah, you too. He's like, I feel like I've known you my whole life. I know more <laughs> than you know about yourself. <laughs> it's so awesome. He told me one day, right. he's, like, he's like, why don't you work for my buddy Benny doing accounting? <laughs> like, I'm not an accountant. He's like, yeah, you don't need to know it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn. You'll like, learn. We should we should stop. We should stop because you could do we could do an entire week just talking about Ryan Singer. Um he's great. He's great. And I like I I hate I hate him. I hate I hate him. Ryan Singer. Okay. Right. No, I was just gonna say that. I I hate him because I love him. And yeah, I had a I'll, I'll stop. Like I had a, I had a moment where I had to go do a, a red bar thing and it was a, I would say it was a Saturday night thing. And on Friday night I got on a stream and in the after show, Ryan said, he, he, and you know how the, you know how he talks, you know, how he, like the cadence, the way he talks. He said, yeah. Paul, this, this, I was thinking, and I think this is what you should do. He has these cadence. He has a cadence yeah. to talk. Yeah. And I yeah. think <laughs> it's an opportunity for you to just step up and show her around and be a gentle man. <laughs> Accurate. And I think... Maybe you don't want to, but maybe this is a moment where you just just be a gentleman, dude. And he, he said, he and he, he said, always talks like a he always has the answer, right? Yeah. Like, oh, did if, you go to this restaurant? No, I didn't go. Why didn't you call your uncle Ryan? I could have made one phone call. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Ryan and I had to call make a killing just having a booth like somewhere oh, near where people just come and ask him like <laughs> questions. He's yeah. like a not a fortune yeah. teller per se, but you get what I'm saying. Dude, he's like yeah. Mountain like Sage, the, right? He's like the hotel manager in John Wick. Yes, yep, exactly. Hundred yeah. percent. Yes, hundred percent. And I had to guy. go on the street. I had to go on the stream the next night and literally say, Ryan, I'm sorry. I knew like I didn't you were right. I, I tried to pull a Ryan Singer, but I actually pulled a Rosé. And I'm, and I, for some reason on the stream, I was apologizing to Ryan and I'm saying, I'm sorry. And I tried to do that. And he's and, he, and you know, in the way he's like, it's fine. There'll be another opportunity. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. And yeah, absolutely. just the way, the way he does it. And it's everything I could do to just say, like, not say like, I know you're insulting me, but I can't figure out how <laughs> you're insulting me. So <laughs> he was trained. You don't understand. He was trained by this one town in this one community. They fucking make killers. And he yeah. decided to use his power for good. Right. That, that's rare. Like he, And that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this whole town, it's full of S550s. That's the whole town. And right, Mercedes. The, all the Mercedes go to one town. It's all his friends, right? Right. All the strip clubs, all the restaurants, all the hotels owned by the same town. It's the same right. guys. 
And he's right. like, no, I'll use my power for good. And he's the guy in the in the watch world community. He has the keys to the continental. Yeah. He's the guy. Dude. He's the guy. Dude, the day he tells me to do something, I'll be I'll just I'll do it and I and I will do it and I will apologize while I'm doing it. For some reason. Like I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry it took so long. Yeah. I'm glad he had the uh we were streaming and he was like I guess he watched the show and he just walked up on us. He walked like, up hey on guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I love the show. You're Diego and you're you're Tim. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you guys mind if I hang out? <laughs> like, no, man, come on. It was the best thing that ever happened. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Singer has the keys. No one forget it. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we still got to figure out who's got the best hair. I'm saying. Me. Sean, Double Crown, Kevin are definitely up there. Double Crown's got a good dome. That was the dome category. No, you're thinking of Double D. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Double D's got a good dome. Was that a small boy moment? I'm sorry. (laughs) Very small boy moment. That was the funniest thing. When he called Small G Small Boy, (laughs) maybe the funniest thing in streaming history. I've shown you my like super sweet Jufro, right? Let's see it. Let's see. I'll send, I'll, send it group, I'll send it in the group chat. Bring it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, I'm gonna stop sharing because I have nothing yeah. about it here. Dude, I find it, I'm finding Evan, it very hard not to be. Do you want me to show this, Evan? Do, Go for it. Do, do no, it. No, I shared it yeah, for Evan, a reason, man. If they, if like, if uh, wow. Sam Baker, look at that hair. Sam, <laughs> uh, look roll. at the hair. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. The little curl in the front. <laughs> oh jeez. If Sam if like Sam if that. Sam Bankman if Sam Bankman Freed went on the run, we yeah. could turn you in and they'd be none the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you're like really too great smart to be Sam Bankman Freed. The guy's a nutsack. <laughs> Dude, that guy's doing what is it, twenty five? Yeah. Oh, 25. He got off he got off easy. Easy. Yeah, God. so like you, you guys want to you hear know. something so interesting? Yeah, uh, that's not that, it's actually not that interesting. It's just funny. Okay. I uh, oh, I, said, I, I said I went to uh, <laughs> I, I said I went to Booker yesterday, right? And I met the guy, one of the guys who like runs it. He's like the most senior. He is usually the guy that sells everybody the watch, right? Kevin O'Leary. Picked up his puzzle data at this booker. I don't know if you guys heard the video, but the puzzle data he got, there was a video. He went here, right? Oh, yeah. So I was like, Were you there that day? He's like, I was supposed to be, but I got an invite to go golfing with Trump or to give Kevin O'Leary his watch. He said, oh. He said, Easy choice. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He said, "Easy choice." <laughs> Easy choice. Dude, I'd love to go golfing with Trump. Yeah, Dude, I'm an atrocious golfer. Like, I'm probably the w- picture what you think I would look like golfing, and it's worse than that. So, My swing is horrible. Do you have a kid set? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I can have I can have a set made by God Himself, and I'll still look like an idiot swinging. I can't horrible. I stop. I stopped playing golf with. With men, I can play golf with children, but I can't play with men because um, I play off my slice, and it's <laughs> it's it's bad because you know when I when I tee off, fucking people like Diego will go, dude, it's it's a straight shot, and I'm teeing off to the left. <laughs> yeah, you're aiming for the next hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to think what sport I'm pretty sure I could beat everyone at and I don't I can't think of a single physical You look sport. like you could beat us all at, at like basketball. No, no. I'm sure like Negroni would fucking dunk on me. Probably. <laughs> Negroni's got that weird 
athleticism thing going on. Or like Boston has some weird like '90s moves he'd hit hit me with, like sky hooks and fucking. <laughs> like oh, crazy I bet numbers. I bet Boston could brawl. Yeah, Boston looks like a fucking gym coach who's just you know they like they were like good in, they were like really good in high school but not good enough for college and they can't let it go so they just never let that hyper fucking competitiveness go. Oh yeah, he back, Boston, he back, Boston's like a I see Boston as like a coil, like a spring that has been wound tight for like forty years oh, and he's <laughs> never released that tension. So like when Boston snaps, it's gonna be it's gonna be one for the shows. Oh, I want to foul be there. the shit out of me. Yeah, he'd foul the shit out of me every game. Oh. Um, yeah, I can't think of a single. Maybe swimming. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh. maybe a race in the pool. <laughs> maybe I got a shot against you guys. Is that even? Yeah. Sport? What the fuck? I don't. I maybe. I don't know. Diving. And it's yeah. That'd be like. Don't me wrong. I'm not. I'm not like a particularly gifted swimmer, but I'm six four, and I actually have like the same wingspan as Michael Phelps. So like maybe no. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> Just does butterflies the entire time, man. <laughs> there's got to be something I could win at. What's considered a sport? Is go kart a sport? I guess go kart. Uh, darts. A sport? Like, might, you might have a chance at darts. Darts. Bowling. <laughs> no, I suck ass. Uh, at bowling. Yeah, sport. A sport. You need a ball. Everything else is just a competition. It's not a sport. Maybe hockey because I feel like everyone would be terrible at it. Oh Maybe my god! Like, you know? Don't talk about hockey, man. Yeah, like I'm. I'll, I'll. Yeah. So, basically, you if would, you you would be good at hockey. Oh, uh, Rose is is so <laughs> Rose is so that guy. Yeah, he's oh, fucking yeah. Gretzky out there. He's, he's so that guy. Listen to me, Rose Paul is so that guy that gets on in the sports conversation and goes, "You know, hockey players are not only the most underpaid, but also the <laughs> toughest of any sport because it's the hardest." He's that yes. fucking guy. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Stop, you know, stop. He's like, shut you up, know, shut you up. You know that hockey is the hardest sport and it's also the most underpaid and everybody knows it. He's that fucking guy. You know Gretzky exactly. is the greatest athlete of all time, right? Like, oh, if you look at the numbers, guy. if you look at the numbers, he's, he's the so best good. athlete. Shut up. All of you, <laughs> shut up. I just want to say, if you look at the numbers, Gretzky's... <laughs> The best it's athlete. True, <laughs> Hockey's the hardest sport. Everything you just said, just repeat it for a second. And then when you when you see me on the ice, <laughs> you'll all cry. <laughs> you will all like, shed a tear. Dude, Rose's got oh, handles. Man. You put a stick in his When you hand. see me skating. Yeah. When you see like when you see my crossovers and you see me skating around. You you'll be like, you'll be you'll you'll be like, you, it'll it'll be like, you'll 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 realize that angels are real. You'll think that angels are real for a moment, and you'll and somebody will be like, no, dude, that's just Rose skating. He's just skating the circles, doing his crossovers. You will look like, like I when I skate, it's it's it's, it's beautiful. Hard. It's beautiful. It's not a it's sport. beautiful. So yeah, community, yeah, it's beautiful. we're gonna do a community. Do, uh, do you guys want to? Here's here's what it's like when people see Rose on the slopes. <laughs> Let me show this. Yeah, real quick. I already know what he's gonna fucking. No, you don't. This this is axle. good. Rose, can you do a triple axel? If there was money on the line. <laughs> <laughs> when you finally get to see Rose in action. Just, Dude, oh my God. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna have my kids take vids of me skiing. And skating, and all of you are going to be like, "Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. why he. That's why. That's why he gets the watches. That's why he gets the watches. That's why we call and him Rose. It's it's. So, I never knew that sports could be an art until I watched a video of me skiing, and then I it was I was I looked at it and I was like, "Yeah, it's, it. it's beautiful." We got to pause this for a second because Evan G just did. Evan G just did what everybody's thinking but can't say. Uh oh. <laughs> Top chip. Wow. Evan G. Evan G. Just finally did it, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read it, but. I it, don't every, disagree. Every, no, nobody would disagree. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Unspoken rule. Damn. 
dude, as a member of the tribe, you know, uh... You have an MBNF? <sighs> different tribe. He's talking about a different tribe. The chosen uh, people, as they say. No, the no like, uh, this, uh, like, jokes aside, we bury my grandmother, but, like, she actually gets to claim Levite status, so, like, on her tombstone, there's, like, a pitcher pouring water, so... Okay. What is that? What's Levite status? Levite, the original 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, cool. The yeah. Levites were separate from the rest of them because the rest of them intermixed after the diaspora, but the Levites were, like, those who, like, kept the tabernacle and, like, were the priesthood. So... Mm. I don't get to claim that, but, like, um, you know... Um... Oh, yeah. so. Levi, I thought it was Levi. Okay. Evan, Evan, my my uh, my my best friend mm. is uh, he's he's very reformed, and yeah. so at his daughter's bat, bat mitzvah, I can't make this up. No, no, excuse me, at his daughter's naming ceremony, I I am her godfather. And so yeah. when I went up and, and when I went up and did my reading mm. at her naming ceremony, and I really I wanted to do the reading in, in Hebrew, they still put in the program Rose, Godfather of so and so. And then I went up and I I I did my best to do the reading in Hebrew. Um, mm. Yeah. That's appreciated, you know, like, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna like shit on that. So like, because like, it, it's just like, dude, I'm sure my Hebrew, like other people would shit on my Hebrew, right? Like, so, <laughs> no, so, I did like, my, <laughs> dude, I did you, my you best. Did, you did good, Rose. You did good. I was, yeah. And I didn't want them to say Godfather, but it was their, it was their program. They, yeah, it's their, no, it's like, their service. Like you do. It's you, super they, cool. Like honestly, legit, yeah. it's super cool. Yeah. And the in the, it was the, it was the Jewish equivalent of what a godfather is in any Christian religion, which is, yeah. should something happen, my responsibility, as a Catholic, is to raise her in the Jewish faith. Yeah, and I was like, okay. Duly noted. Yeah, I got it. Wow, oh, it's a real party now. Hell yeah. What's up, boys? Here he is. What are we talking about? We're talking about who's the top Jew in the community. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Singer. Uh, but we, we're voting for second place. Oh, so. my God. You know who yeah. I'd like to pick that out? Oshino oh. Mali. I feel like he's a good oh, yeah, That'd be great. <laughs> that'd be fucking he's got the really good. Hair. No, just... uh, <laughs> he could pick it out, right? <laughs> He could sniff him out. He's, He's like, like let me go through my list. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his finger. Uh... He pulls out this black book from his desk. <laughs> oh, man. God. <laughs> he blows it off. A bunch of fucking dust kicks off. Because, okay. Oh, man. Oh, see, I know you're a Jew. I think I'm we Catholic. can't. We can't go. We can't go there. We can't go there. But. I'll say this and then I'll just I'll shut up. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's watched anybody that's watched the videos of them parachuting down in the kibbutz. Are you talking about that? And that music festival? I'm, Oshin is Oshin hasn't seen oh. what actually happened on that day. And he's talked around it. But anybody who watched them come down I, I should sh ne never mind. I'll shut up for a second. Like we don't we don't want to go there. We don't yeah, go there. yeah. It, it, it's it's hard. And like yeah. so, like I'll, I'll say it. This yeah. is a conflict where nobody is the good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just accept that that like and there's Israel no there's be no resolution. There's no like, resolution protecting civilians, but also like like fuck Hamas. Can we have the discussion? Yeah. There's no resolution to this conflict. There's no resolution. It's gonna yeah. go. It's gonna go for a long time. Yep. Yeah, I agree. All so right. Well, how about it. those earthquakes? Yeah, let's yeah. have it. Sorry. The world's gonna end soon, guys. What watch Dude, are you gonna be wearing yeah. when it ends? 
And not that we don't think it's an important topic that should be. No, discussed. no, no. Yeah. Sorry, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry. For no, this, yeah, this, yeah, is no, this, fun, look, this is a fun stream. This is not a yes. political stream. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Let's yeah. get back to talking about what shitty sport I could possibly beat you guys at. Darts. I lie. I think I have the best. High lie, maybe. Polo. I feel me on a fucking stallion. Oh, polo. Polo's hard. Polo, 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 I know what you'd be good at. What? Beer pong. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what, Buckley? You know what? You just fucking nailed it. I would. Lolex is the guy it. that's like Island and fucking sings it. Dude, <laughs> dude, islands all day. Last cup. I'm bouncing shit. I'm swan shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd be maybe top two in the community. Because I have a feeling that maybe one of the older guys is like a sneaky, like he did it in the 80s and 90s and he could take us out. You know, you never know with these guys. But so uh, I you feel... get me with the right team member. Let's go. What's. Um. It's, I think it's called like horse, you know, where there, there's this sport, it's huge. I think in like the, the Norwegian countries where you ride around on a, a pretend horse on a stick. We've all, <laughs> we've all seen this on Instagram. Okay. You know, you, uh, like horse. No, no. Yeah. It's Quidditch, but with a horse. Okay. Um, it sounds like polo. Sounds like polo, whatever Eddie so, plays. This is um. Oh, you're talking about like you just like jump over shit. You yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. Weird helmet. Like, yeah, it's, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. It's not. Oh, what the fuck? I feel like Diego was close. Not aquarium. Oh, uh, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You we jump horses. Emergency. We have yeah. an emergency, everybody. What? We have an emergency. We need to help. We need to help Sea Dweller King not become a soy by trying vegan. Oof, my this is my actually own. this is actually a, a problem. Listen. Do not go vegan. Don't buy into the Oof. Netflix nonsense. Yeah. For the love of God, please don't do it. It doesn't work out for anybody ever. Please, I beg you. Yeah, I haven't it's, seen that. It's well, I mean, a lot what of are their work for? I'm, I'm a, very yeah. like not really much, if any, gain. Let me guess. Yeah. It's it's What's about people getting colon cancer, right? That's what I'm assuming. Here's the problem. They talk about meat eaters, and they put everybody who eats like processed, cold cut garbage, like Lunchables, into the same category as someone who eats, you know, chicken yeah. and fucking steak. And you can't mm. put those two people in the same category. Mm. Just don't eat hot dogs and Lunchables. You'll be all right. Don't hot go vegan. You'll wither away. You'll lose a bunch of weight. Your fucking hair will fall out. Your dick won't work. Please don't do it. Look like Diego. Look like Diego. Your teeth will turn yellow. Please don't do it. I, lo I look at to these make things. It work, but it's a lot of extra effort for very little, if no gains. Yeah. And it, it comes down to like, uh, it, it, like the the problem is it, it's it's very similar to like the CrossFit folks where it's mm. it's just it becomes like a, a cudgel to beat people over the head with. When it comes yeah. down to it's just like if you want to live that way, it be my fucking guest, right? Like, uh, like, but they, they end up being a bunch of fucking assholes. That right? is the perfect. If, that is the perfect analogy. Veganism is CrossFit to exercise, um, and I have no problem. Like. I've never met a vegetarian that wasn't healthier than me. So if you don't want to eat meat, fine. What about That's great. what about the fact that all these parents that are vegans and they raise their baby on a vegan diet and then the Ooh. baby passes away? Like Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like so, so that's, that's, hold on, but that's, you can't make that's, the, the, the issue well, is the hey, issue is the Hold on, hold on. The what issue I'm saying is, the, is that is the baby doesn't have a choice, right? And you're getting to see the yeah. results of the science. Yeah. yeah, look. So you don't have yeah. to eat meat. Like, and everybody know everybody who knows MJ. He doesn't eat meat, but he eats fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need a source of you need a source of omegas, and you need a source of protein. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. you just wither away into nothing. I mean, Man, vegan so like, is yeah, no but there's not, not to like counter like Buckley's argument, but to like technically like soy proteins and egg proteins have almost the same peat, like pitcast like rating. So, like, they have, like, a similar amounts of, like, the same essential amino acid ratios, right? Um, but it comes down to, like, don't be a dick about it. Right. Well, that's, that's the argument. And then, and then, like, evolution says that 
like meteors have incisors and we we have we have incisors yeah and it's it's and but again every every vegetarian that i that i know that i'm friends with in my life is healthier than i'll ever be they're they're in great health but the common thing they all have is they're not I, I don't know why vegetarians are different than vegans. So like every, I mean, it's Diego's stream, so I feel like I can say this. Ah, oh, go for it. Mo yeah. Most vegetarians are just doing their own thing. Most vegans are fucking assholes, yeah, that's right? The, like, that's the thing is like uh, it, it becomes like a church, right? Right. It's the church of veganism, and but they there have isn't to a proselytize. Right, but vegetarians aren't. There's not a church of vegetarianism. Like I have friends who don't eat meat, and that's just that's their thing, and that's not what they mm. want to do, and that's fine, fine, whatever. Um, but yeah. vegans, they're like vegan is like they well, you obviously know. they it's like the Grand Seiko person. Exactly. Yeah. It's thank like you. For, yeah. It's like the Grand. Seiko. Yes. Yeah. They're Grand Seikos. They want you to know, and it's like, okay, look, if you truly feel better on just eating vegetables and you can't digest meat, all power to you. I've never met one that it worked out for. Yep. But, hey, you want to try it? Be my guest. All I'm saying is don't buy into these Netflix narratives. Netflix spins out these documentaries, and a lot of the time they're nonsense. Yeah. I'll tell you the one that – uh kind of caught my eye was the one about salmonella and what was it? what's that other disease you can get from like dirty food um botulism no there's there's salmonella <laughs> and then there's a different type of food poisoning um God, it's the, no it's on the tip Diego, of my tongue it's Diego, like, like raw beef Club e coli yeah. e coli, e -coli. Yeah, uh, and, but like typically, what's, what's really interesting about that is that it's typically caused from essentially drainage. runoff from exactly. yeah drainage runoff from like ranches and farms that like places like places that do beef into mm -hmm. like vegetable fields. Yeah, so like um, they have they have a cow pasture, mm -hmm. and then the next property they're growing spinach, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's funny. No, but have you ever had have you ever had have you ever had food poisoning? Have you ever oh, have yeah. you ever had yeah. salmonella? I had I had, I had Montezuma's food. revenge. Oh, I've had that. Yeah, that was brutal. And I mean, you know, not 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 faking a hangover, but if you've ever had actual salmonella food poisoning, you will question your existence. I mean, you will you will spew things that you never knew you could spew from every orifice in your in your body. It's it's yeah. awful. I had food poisoning once. And it's the reason why now, not to sound like a twat, but I won't eat at a restaurant with a less than a 4.5 rating. Yeah. You've only had food poisoning once? I had it once because I learned and said, I'm never yeah. eating at a restaurant below a 4.5 rating. Yeah. So, so the I've reason never that a restaurant, but like being half Jewish, like everything upsets my stomach. So like, it's yeah, food. I've definitely <laughs> had, I've had, the, the I've reason, had food poisoning multiple times. The reason that restaurants, when they cook uh, ground beef, for example, they have like, like if you're getting a burger, mm -hmm. they have inside like these like FDA mandated signs that say internal temperature must be X. And the reason for that, I can't remember what the chain was. But something like seventeen people died. Well, from you know, from eating those burgers. Most food poisoning comes from like salads and stuff. It doesn't come from meat. So yeah. true. It comes from like greens and dude, you know, yeah. oh, yeah. shellfish. Hundred percent, hundred percent right. Like, you know, yeah. oh, oysters, do you know how many? Yeah. Do you know how many people go out to dive bars and eat fucking salads? Jesus, Me. like <laughs> me. That is. <laughs> That is that is literally like showing up at the corner in All right, listen, listen, listen. If if I if you go out to dinner as a male and you order a salad for dinner, it's the mm -hmm. last dinner that me and you are having. What about a, what about an appetizer? What about an appetizer? A wedge. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a strong opinion. That's a very strong. Let me be very clear. 
I can't Dude, go to I order, lunch. I order like, I order like a bar. No, slot. lunch is different. Lunch is different. No, a wedge no. before a steak. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. If you go to dinner and the waiter comes and says, "What are you having?" And you Chef order, salad. You order a salad for okay, dinner. Okay, Buckley. Buckley. Can There's a one hundred percent chance the that entree. you you cross your leg over your nutsack. <laughs> Two hundred percent. There's a two hundred percent chance that I am not having dinner with you ever again. Buckley, Buckley. Let's say we're at lunch. We're at dinner, me and you. And the waiter yeah. comes over and he says, "Lolex, what would you like?" And I say, "I'll have the chef salad and a Coors Light." What do you respond? With? What do you I, respond I, with? I, you're, you're a man of of confliction who needs help. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you said. I, I just, I know, I know that I can't deal with anybody who's, I can't deal with a male who has a salad for dinner. I just, well, can't. you should, you should wait. You, to you mean as the main look, course, look, not, look, not even, as a starter, even, the right? fucking, even the fucking restaurant is like, yeah, you eat the salad before we bring you the real shit because it's not real <laughs> shit. And then if, if you're the, the other thing, the other thing too, this is the second thing. Okay. Strike one, you're out. Okay. The other strike that you're out is if you say, "Why don't we get an entree and just share it?" Dude, oh, I was just dude. gonna say that, but okay. with the dessert, I'd be like, Buck, you, "What do you, you think about the cheesecake?" We you can, cheesecake? you can, <laughs> you, you go will, straight to hell. You can get fucked. We are not sharing an entree. Oh, I told I told the story. We went. Uh, I was gone for a week on like some business thing, and we went. I think Punta Verde, whatever that place is. Seafood, right? You're right on the ocean. You think seafood. We never ate seafood. On the last day, we went to lunch at this seafood place. And I'm like, I'm getting a dozen oysters. And then oh like three God. people are like, oh, I love oysters. I'm like, well, order some. <laughs> well, you just <laughs> ordered a dozen. I was like, I ordered a dozen. If you would like oysters, you need to go ahead and order some for you. I'm not, I'm not sharing. Well, I mean... The move, Diego, is to order another dozen. So you just keep ordering for the table. No, because the keep patna. Nah, I wanted my dozen in peace. And like okay, Buckley said, fair, if you're fair. at a restaurant and someone says we should share an entree, that's when you say, oh. "Did you forget your wallet?" <laughs> oh my god. Well, when it comes to oysters, I'm the guy that's ordering them for the table. Or if we do brunch, I'm getting table pancakes for everyone. So you guys would probably hate me going out. Oh, I like that table pancakes is good. Yeah, yeah. Get some pancakes. I've never, I've never shared an entree ever with another man who didn't <laughs> want to fuck me. <laughs> it is, it is very intimate. I will say that. Oh, Literally, man. next like, Friday, say we'll have, we'll have the right. tea bone. <laughs> Eddie just said it, and I, I'm glad no, somebody one. agreed with me. Eddie, Eddie said it, and he agrees with me. Oysters are right. a sharing thing. Oysters are for the table. No, no. Okay, oysters are for sharing when you're at a restaurant in New York right. where they cost sixty dollars a dozen. When you're down here in Savannah, and it's like eight bucks a dozen. Yeah. You order yourself like four dozen. Yeah. Can I can I tell an oyster story? This is very off topic, but there's this really funny video or TikTok that was going around. I think about a month ago where this girl, some guy had been sliding in this girl's DM for like a few months saying, let me take you out for drinks. Let me take you out for drinks. Let me take you out for drinks. She goes, fine, you could take me out for drinks. The guy thinks I'm taking her out for drinks. She proceeds to slam like 84 oysters. She's Hell just doing, yeah. she's doing a rack of 12 and she's going another rack, another rack, another rack. And she slams like five lemon drops. And the guy just goes, uh, hey, I got to use the bathroom. He just dips on her. It's fucking Dude. disgusting. She was recording herself slamming all these oysters. It's pretty crazy. Oh, God. Well, the, the red flag the red flag is like any woman that always orders lemon drops, like she's obviously has herpes. Like you, <laughs> <laughs> It's very obvious. Uh, it's obvious. Yeah. It, all right. But, Rose, you do have to admit, you know, after five or six drinks, a nice lemon drop is pretty good. Throw, no, 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 not a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just sad. Oh, it's it's herpes in a jar, man. (laughs) It's very (laughs) It's it's like a it's a it's like a sugary shot, pretty much. It's like usually vodka, and then they put a bunch of sugar shit in it. I was gonna say because I a mixed drink I like is just uh, vodka, simple syrup, and uh, lime juice. Right. Right. That's a that that's a wonderful. 
that is when you're on your period that's probably the best <laughs> <laughs> hey at least it's uh, not a negroni okay it's negronis are great <laughs> Dude, like gin, or, gin or brown liquor, man. Come on. Like, <laughs> tell Lolux looks about the Negronis, Rose. He's, he's, not, he's not caught. More, more than anyone, I want to be a guy who just opens up brown liquor, puts it in a glass, room temperature, and fucking takes it down. It doesn't agree with me. Hell no. It just doesn't That's... want it to, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah, Evan G. Look at that. At that point, know. it's not a drink. It's. It's a suppressant. <laughs> like that's why you're drinking it like that. It's medicine. No, I'm yeah. drinking it because yeah. I love the taste, and you're just a bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, they, oh, they, no. they always, they no, always. D- D- Diego, that. we're gonna be, we're gonna have a whiskey tasting soon, and Evan's like, like make the pain go away. Give me yeah. a. <laughs> Don't we get to experience Diego. good whiskey together, and like, I'm really I'm excited. Uh, like, legitimately, I'm, excited. I'm actually really excited to meet like most of you soon. Yeah. So. I'll be the guy drinking a lemon drop in the corner. Yeah. Lolik <laughs> strikes me. Lolik strikes me as a flamed shot kind of guy. I've never done that. I've never done that. If like you're gonna do it, shots. get a blue blazer, which is a Scotch hot toddy made with cask strength Scotch, right? And it's a show for the whole fucking bar. Is they're like pouring <laughs> the flaming fucking whiskey between two goblets to heat it up. Oh. I don't know. It's about cool that. as fuck. I'll admit, I got to admit, my my drink choices are pretty gay. Yeah, <laughs> mine are. Yeah, like I'm Gin not here to shit talk people. I just like alcohol. <laughs> I'm can like I... rosé, but like instead of wine, it's whiskey. So can I tell you what my drink order is. Like, if I want to actually enjoy my drink, and I'm gonna get flamed to Jaeger shit. Bombs? No, no, no. I do love. Let me tell you, something. I like Jaeger. I actually like the taste of Jaegermeister, but oh, you I are, like man. the taste of Jaeger. But if I want to have a drink that I'm going to enjoy, I'll usually do like a Moscow Mule. So they taste good. good. They're very girly, very girly, but they taste good. Your like hands them. get all pruney though. Those metal yeah. cups. Very cold. Yeah. But it's good. When I when I when I order wine, at a, at a restaurant, people like at the people at the table next to me, they stop talking and they listen to what I'm ordering, <laughs> and they're like. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. What's he's or what is he ordering? And they'll, because I I instantly make friends with the psalm, okay. instantly. And then I can pick out um, on a wine list. There's wines on the list that a chef puts on so that he can drink them. And I can't make this up. Um, I and I can pick out, I can pick out those wines, and on multiple times. I was in I can't I can't make this up. I was in Stockholm, Sweden with one of my biggest clients. And there was a wine on the list called George. And George is a curmudgeon old you can I mean you can anybody can fact check me on this. George Pinot Noir. It's called George. Is this curmudgeon old bastard fuck who makes really good Pinot Noir. And I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm like, George Pino, get us two bottles of those. And the chef came out and said, who the fuck ordered the George wine? I put that on the menu for myself to drink at night. And I was like, and it was the moment where I won the client over. And I was like, well, obviously, Rosé Paul ordered the wine, obviously. And he looked at me and he's like, well, you're wearing a rose gold AP, obviously, I understand. Oh. Um, no, I'm making that up. But it truly, the moment when you order a wine is the moment where your date will decide whether or not she's going to have sex with you. Like, it's the most, <laughs> it's the most emasculating or the most manly moment in the entire meal. All right. All right. All right. I, so we got to. It's true. I'm, I'm it's true. Go. I'm gonna expose my weakest link as far as alcohol goes, and okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get flamed. Let's flamed. See. Do you know what? During the summer, during the summer, if I'm going to an outdoor event where drinking is heavily expected, whether it be a fire or a barbecue, okay. Do you know what I will buy to drink? Seltzers. No. Yeah, seltzer. Oh, Diego, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse. 
Zima's? Okay. Please don't say, please don't say Mike's Hard. Please don't Mike's say, Hard Lemonade. No, if you say Mike's Hard Lemonade, oh, please don't say Mike's Hard Lemonade. Oh, I could hit this. I could hit this. Or Loco. Don't say it. Don't say it, Buckley. One of us is going to hit this. I got this. <laughs> Smirnoff Ice. Boone's uh, Farm? No, that's no. You all right, that. I'll tell you. I'll no, tell not yet. We're let's, close. Let's wait for people in the chat to guess. Hold Eddie on, says Smirnoff Ice. White no. Claws. And it, it's something. It's uh, I have and my brother, my dad. We all like it, so we're all equally gay. Okay, <laughs> so it's gay. The whole Bud thing. Light uh, limes. We will, buy, limes. we will buy a twenty-four pack of this, and we will go to town. Sweetwater four twenty. No. <laughs> Bud Light lime. You got it, baby. Bud Light. I knew lime. it. <laughs> Do I know <laughs> Buckley? Or do I know Buckley? Dude, damn! Dude. I'm the booze whisperer. I fucking knew Dude, it. Dude, you got it. Bud Light. Bud Light Lime so is good. not bad. Cold. There's not that bad. Cold. That. Not that bad. Cold. There's a yeah, lot wrong pretty, with that, it's Diego. Pretty it's pretty gay. fucking bad. It's, it's, that's it's very fucking oh. bad. Damn, I knew it. Anyway, so, so Buckley is listen, going listen, to be joining us. Is America? I know you're in the chat. Listen, so Buckley's going to be joining us at the whiskey tasting. <laughs> yeah, I need help. I need a little bit of help because my. No, alcohol... yeah, trust me. If nothing else, it's a it's a perspective and a yardstick. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. Like like appreciate like like take take it and then like learn from it. And if you don't like it, I'm okay with that. But like at least you understand what good whiskey is. I need help. I, this is a call to action. I need help. You guys really don't like Jägermeister. Like, let's be it's honest. fine, but like in Europe, Jägermeister's viewed as like an old person drink. It's an aperitif. It's something you drink yeah. after dinner as a shot after you like have indigestion because you're an old man. But yeah, you know, the, the, Evan, the problem, cold, the problem with <laughs> cold the problem with Jägermeister, on, guys. there's no way, there's no way to drink Jägermeister and be a man. Like, there's, there's yes, no there way. <laughs> yes, no, there is. There's no way. Okay, I'll admit, this it video? is for children. But it is bullshit. So how do you taste blended really? scotch whiskey? First of all, you need to use a glass. Not just any glass. A capita nosing glass. You'll see from the shape of this no, one, no. it's quite Karn, different. Fuck that guy. Dude, no, fuck listen, that guy. listen, no, listen, listen, listen. From this one. Because what you want to do, unlike this shape, you want to get like you talk swirl to it around, as I said to you before, throw it out. <laughs> because you want to get rid of any odors that perhaps on the lip of the glass. Uh... Swirl it around. Bring it up and say... Hello. Then you go back to it. How are you? And then go back to it. Quite well. Thank you very much. Now remember, <laughs> get into it. Don't go like this. None of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water. But don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Ooh. Because you want to test it. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake. Down to 35% alcohol. 35% alcohol is the ideal strength for really bringing you out the whiskey in the palate. Put in the mouth. And then let it go down. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah, well, like so like you typically drink scotch neat, right? So like not no ice, room temperature, no, like nothing. So like what they'll actually if you go to like a scotch bar, they'll actually give you um, like a glass of like spring water, <laughs> and we use you take a straw and you'll like Christ add dead. like a drop or two, right? Because what it does is like people say like the the, the, the like the like douchebag way of saying it's like oh it opens up the bouquet, but really what That's it does. The that's the dumbest it thing that two drops of water opens up your scotch sorry yeah uh, because what it does is it basically like all of the like ethanol that's sitting on the top of the whiskey because ethanol is less dense in water like gets tamped down for a little bit and you can get a chance to actually smell what it smells like that's what it does right um so it, it actually mm -hmm. does like so it, it, it's good for, especially for like folks that to, like that haven't really been like, it, like they're not super into like whiskey and scotch. Like a couple drops are like good because it kind of like I said tamps down that like alcohol smell. You get a chance to smell like all the like the tan like the tannins and shit like that. Um, it, it's great. It's a good time. Well, we'll get a chance. You guys will come out. I'm bringing like four fucking bottles, so it's gonna be a good time. So we're gonna have a blast. You, you guys uh, ready? 
Are you, Evan? Are, are you going to judge me if I do a? It's a Glenn Rose. Coach? I know that Diego. It's a what? If I use a die coat Glenn chaser. Rose. I hope you guys are cool with that. No, you cannot have a chaser. No, <laughs> no, no, you may not. Oh, Blanton's okay. Glenn, G G the Glenn Rose does like a similar bottle. I'm not a bourbon guy. I'm a Scotch and like rye person. Mm. But like, uh, enjoy admit, your bourbon. I, I, it's good stuff. I, I will admit, Evan, I do like yeah. a good red breast. Not bad. I said caramelly. Four it, it roses. Like, like, it, the funniest like, thing in the is, night. Like, that's the thing. It's like, sorry, go ahead. The funniest thing in the night that I learned is that me and Lolex would have shared a 24 pack of Bud Light Lime at a high school party. Oh yeah, dude. And then we dude, would have crushed. The shit out of that. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> dude, we would have killed the beer pong table. I would have fucking puked on the side of your car, and, and then, we wouldn't and have then talked we go for to a McDonald's. week. <laughs> and we wouldn't have talked for a week. Like, a a banger. <laughs> hell yeah yeah dude not bad Bud Light Lime I don't know where the hell I got that out of my ass cause you uh, know you got it yeah, in here I, yeah, I got that if, dog if you get me. a chance the uh, the real king is the Michelob <laughs> Ultra like cactus lime <laughs> oh, if you want like extra like it, 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 this is like, this is basically adult Gatorade right if you're doing yard work <laughs> yeah Michelob can I just say can I just say that mezcal is like one of the worst drinks out there? It's uh, it, it's an acquired taste. It's like I know mezcal. Ryan it's has like, his. Gosh. I haven't tried Ryan's, but the ones that I've had here are like way too smoky. Like it's well, not it's enjoyable. Literally the so so here so Diego, fun fact: uh, mezcal is a category. Tequila is a subsidiary of mezcal. So tequila is a subset of mezcal, right? So like mezcal, the smokiness is like the larger category. Oh, right. I can't do the smoke of this. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Like, that's fine, right? Like, I'm not going to shit on you for that, but, like, it comes down to, like, that also smoky scotch, if you've ever, like, um, like, like we'll, we'll have some, op like, examples of that, like, in a month or so. Um, but, like, yeah, smoke is a thing, and some people love it, some people hate it. It's not like a, you've graduated to this level. It comes down to, if you don't like it, just... You don't fucking like it. It's yeah, fine. Don't drink. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I agree with I agree with you. Mezcal sucks. All tequila, all tequila, smoky mezcal sucks. Now I've had mezcal in, in Mexico. Opinion. I've had mezcal in Mexico where they actually have the worm in there, and it was very good. It was clean. It was enjoyable. But the stuff I've had in the states, everybody in the states is all obsessed about. Oh, the smokiness and like the notes, way too strong. It's horrible. Mm. I tuned into the chat. The pro Logan Hall. The problem with Talisker. Talisker might be like. Talisker is probably the gayest guy. It's like. <laughs> it's like. I'm into Scotch, but like I don't really want anything that's seriously on any direction. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely like vanilla scotch. He's going to be mad at me, <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> uh, at least I'm reading the chats. The years, the, 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 I, in all seriousness, not to be a complete buffoon, the years really matter on Talisker. They really yeah. matter. Uh, Talisker Storm is like a popular Talisker Tens find. Um, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. they're like a good intro into like Smoky. Same thing with like Highland Park, right? You yeah. get into the island scotches, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're pretty good. But yeah, like, I don't know. It's it's it, uh, it's fun being on here when like I'm the one that's been drinking since two. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, like. I love whiskey uh, and the and the scotches that I drink. Like I drink, I drink the, I drink the gayest scotches you can drink. Like I, I, I mean, like I drink, like really, they're like my favorite. My favorite scotch is in a Tiffany blue bottle. Um, <laughs> and anybody who knows scotch will know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh yeah talisker is but but i can't drink um pe like there, i think there's a thing that like peated scotch is more manly and like 
I think Lafroig is maybe I'm a maybe I'm a wimp. I think Lafroig is disgusting. No, no, it's I fine. It's, it. fi- it's fine. It's an acquired taste. Like so, for, for folks in the chat that aren't familiar, Lafroig tastes like if you lit a band aid on fire and ate it. Yeah, um, yeah. I think Looking Glass sent me a like. bottle. Looking Glass sent it's me a so, bottle. And so I would go even. I, I would go even it. worse than what um, <laughs> what Evan said. Lafroig tastes to me like if you burned a scab and yep. then you drank it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very medicinal, thing. very seaweedy. It's funny because, like, in like, uh, like when you get used to it, you you, you can like appreciate. It, it's it's the most. It, like, this is the douchiest thing ever. Like, you, you like, yeah, it's the most dinky thing ever. It's like once you get into the community, like once you get uh, into it, you really learn to appreciate it, right? Like, <laughs> but it's kind of true. <laughs> you know those uh, commercial like conference tables that are like, you know, you spill something, it's fine. It's not like they have that layer. To protect yeah. them, the Lafroig, or it might have been the Log of a Loon. I can't remember. Um, we spilled some on our conference table, and it ate through whatever <laughs> was protecting the table. Mm-hmm. Like there's a permanent ring now. That's pretty fucked up. It's strong. Yeah. That's why. Uh, yeah. No, I'm. Uh, uh, I, I, it's funny because like rye rye whiskey has actually been having like a renaissance over the last like three years. So mm-hmm. I've kind of like mostly switched to rye over scotch. Um, but it, it's also like a. It's not for everybody because it's it's not sweet, right? Because like bourbon and Irish whiskey are sweet, but mm-hmm. rye is like kind of vegetally. It's the way to yeah. describe it. And so you're like, talking to the uh, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't like rye. Yeah, but you understand what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't like the the spiciness. You have to like the spice in rye. Um, yeah. And I think I'm not like I'm not definitely not manly enough to drink rye. Like it's a, it, it's a man. It's it's manlier than bourbon. It it's well. It, it used to be the dominant whiskey in America until prohibition, mm. and then pro- yeah. after prohibition, it was bourbon. Yeah. And like I don't I know. know, like I know you're like all. I know you're joking around, but like I'm I like my thing is I like getting people into the things that I'm into. Yeah. So like, I hate like yeah. shitting on people when they like don't like the stuff that I like. But like, like if you're not into rye, I'm not gonna shit on that. Like respect it. Like I know where your boundaries are, and I know where yeah. like if we meet up, like where to like have like a good experience. But like yeah. for folks that you know, like want something a bit like. Again, like more a bit harsh, a bit more like spicy, like that I know where yeah. to go, right? So yeah, no, I've I've tried. Um, you, you you know more about rye than I do, so I like I like the sweet, I like the corn sweetness of bourbon, yeah. um, and I like no, actually, I like Tennessee whiskey, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. So cold, cold chill filtered, I like that. I like the smoothness of that, and I know that makes yeah. me a that makes me a douche. And I've said before, like I'm, I'm obviously a douche. Um, and so there, there is out there somewhere the least rye rye. And I probably like it. And I need somebody who knows, knows what they're doing and they would introduce me to it. And I'm sure I would like it. Are are you going to, so like, uh, ignore things in the chat. Are you going to the meetup next month? No. Are you aware of the meetup next month? No. So April is without so doxing. May. Yeah. Okay. So no. We can talk off stream about it. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll talk, talk off stream about let's it. Talk, let's talk off stream. Okay. About it. We'll talk off stream. Do you guys see like, what's coming back? Some interesting like local rye that you like. It's very different from like the mainstream rye because the problem with rye yeah. is like, uh, like I said, so pre-prohibition it was like the dominant whiskey in America, but yeah. like post-prohibition it like basically bourbon took its place. But basically, there's been one distillery which is called uh, Midwestern Grain Products MGP that's been making like all of the rye. So if you mm-hmm. see like Bullet Rye, that's MGP, yeah. and basically yeah, I know MGP. might mass yeah, produce. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, there, like, uh, I'm bringing some interesting stuff to uh, our meetup next month. We'll talk offline. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk. So, God, he's talking I've, about a Canadian I've tried to find... the Fuck out of here with the Canadian whiskey bullshit. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. It, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, so we'll, we'll talk. Fun. We'll talk later. But like, yeah. Evan, here's the thing, and this will give you my entire taste profile. <laughs> so, just, just, so I'm a huge, um, I'm a 
Oh, everyone's going to, after I say this, everyone's going to, Buckley's going to have a day with me. Um, so I'm a big Dickel <laughs> fan. <laughs> so I like, I like Dickel, um, I like Dickel <laughs> bottled, bottled in bond. Um, and that's Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. Technically, obviously. Um, good and bourbon. so that the, um, the, uh, Dickel? The Flintstones, the Dickel, the Flintstones, you know, the Flintstones um, vitamin taste that people complain about with Dickel. Um, I, I love it. So I think I like, I like sweet bourbon. So anyways, I'll shut yeah. up for a second, Did, but I like Dick, Dickel that. bottle and bond. Um, and I can't remember her name, but the, the lady who's the master distiller at Dickel, I think she's, freaking great i think she's producing awesome stuff so i'll i'll yeah i'll be i did say well, dickle but let's table this for like like after stream anyway so yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah watch it's it, a love watch with tech philippe watch this yeah what do you, what do you guys what do you guys think 5990 coming back or 5980 right mm. <clears throat> have you guys seen this yet I don't know. I saw these releases. Did you see this one? I don't know if I saw this one. I did see that someone leaked the the Patek Philippe releases. I thought, eh. So I'm about yeah, to ruin. Very, it. Very I'm about to ruin it for you. Ready? Why? Very underwhelming. It's on a strap. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's like oh, what is God, that nylon? I I hate that nah, so much right now. It's, it's like on blue jeans. jeans. They just cut blue jeans. Ooh. Is this a partnership between Patek Philippe and Levi's? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. So we're probably going to get a white gold 5980 on a denim. Levi. Yeah, denim. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Christ I'll, almighty, say, I'll say what I said the other night. Like when you buy when you buy something like this on strap, you're halfway there. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I don't on. I don't know how I feel about Patek. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if I get it. I don't think I get it. it like, it's basically the Omega Railmaster Levi's edition. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I get the Tech Philippe. I don't know. Maybe one day when I grow up, I'll get it. When you get... Um, when you... So, you don't get... When you get a watch that's supposed to be on bracelet and you get it on strap, this is a larger conversation. And I'm going to... I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna offend a lot of people when I say this. They they make watches on bracelet, and then they sit around in a, a room and they go, "Dude, you want to know how we could fuck everybody over? <laughs> Let's make the exact same watch, but on a piece of shit strap, and then we'll sell the bracelet back to them for ten thousand yeah. dollars." Look at, this, look at this gap right here. Probably 20, yeah. 25. Right. Oh, that's painful. Like, it, like the fact that like this is even like remotely associated with Patek Philippe is like embarrassing. I wonder, I wonder what the reasoning is behind this. They're out of yeah, ideas. Money. You don't want money. to give people what they want. Yeah. Right. It's, right. Uh, tease. Or, tease. Remember all the Nazi gold that Switzerland like held on to? It's this. You only you only make bracelet watches on ugly leather straps to just ex like just to f people over and exploit the fact that you can and you know there's somebody in a room somewhere going dude dude I got an idea I could like I'll bet you I can I could screw these people over let's make the watch let's make the watch but dude take the bracelet off. And make He's the, like, well, wait, how are they going to wear it? <laughs> like, how, and like, we'll make, we'll make, we'll make the strap out of denim. <laughs> That's crazy. No like, one would buy that. Like, no, one, like, no, 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 stop, stop. They will, they will, they will. You have no idea how many assholes there are out there. Yeah, look, 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 will buy this. We'll get. Listen, listen, chill. Like Terry Stern saying, chill, dude. I'll just talk to Way. Way right. will sell it. <laughs> right. Way will sell it. It will be fine. Like, chill out. Right. Yeah. Very disappointing. And there's, there's some guy in the background going, well, yeah, but that watch will suck. 
and this is how micro and he gets fired, and this is how micro brands are formed. He will start and like be like, fine, I'm going to go off on my own. I'm going to start no, to he, watches. He gets put in charge of the ellipse. No, you're, you're no, going to work no. with the the ellipse for the next five years. Oh, the uh, y- y- the uh, uh, Universal Geneva White Shadow that they were yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know Pretty how bad. I feel about the tech Philippe. This is okay. <sighs> this is kind of cool. No, it's not. It's worse. Know? It's worse. It's worse than the old one. It's a step. It's worse. Yeah, but at least it's coming back. It's white gold. I would assume. What a, what a comp. Yeah, it's white gold. It's white gold. It's forty two. Is it forty two? No, I'm, look at the look at the picture. That looks forty two. Come on, man. I'm, I'm zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, but we don't even know if these are real images. Looks forty two. It could be a fake. You know what? Buckley's right. So last year we had the guy that made those fake uh, Rolex catalogs, right? Yeah, we don't know. Who's to say that the same guy isn't fucking with us right I now? I gotta tell you, Diego. I know you're a Patek fan. Rose is doing his whole, I'm only buying Tiffany Patex. Mm-hmm. That's cool and everything, but I got to tell you, I hope the Cubitus is the biggest failure because I think it will be the funniest thing to ever happen. In the <laughs> oh, yeah. I want it so, like, you have no idea. I want so bad for Patek to just drop garbage and for everybody to revolt because it would be so funny. I mean, we can kind of guess what it's going to be. It's going to be a Nautilus, Aquanaut, marries a Royal Oak, has sex with a Laureato in the back alley kind of watch. Right? Like, it's going to look something oh, like that. I don't know. No. I just I hope so bad that it's no, fucked. It's going to be sucky. Like, it's definitely going to be sucky. <laughs> if it sucks, it doesn't, doesn't really affect me. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. You just buy what you like, I guess. See, when I buy these watches, I'm not worried about. I don't even know how much they are. I just want to see. I want to see Brian <laughs> Govberg and Tim Masso and some of these guys. I just want to see them squirm. <laughs> I want to see them not know what to do. Like I, I more than anything, I want to see the Cubitus drop. I want it to be bad, but when I want to see Brian Govberg's face when it's bad. More than anything. No, because you know what? They're going to tie some history to it. And they're going to harken no, 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 back. No, like, oh, yeah. Think, you can't can we, can we roll yeah. back? Can we roll back to what Diego just said a minute ago? Anybody can say, so the greatest outro to any watch conversation is just, well, you know, you got to buy what you like. So somebody could say, you know, these these watches, this was, this was actually watch. <laughs> this watch was created specifically – for Hitler and he loved it. And if you want to get out of a conversation, all you have to say is, well, you know, you, just, you buy what you like and you move on. Anybody yeah, could I'm say like- anything about a watch. They could say, well, you know, you can only get this watch if you literally sell your children into slavery. And I don't think you should do that, but I'm just, you can just well, you know, you got to buy what you like. Ooh, and you move on. It's the yeah. greatest I'm outro. A, I'm a- it's the greatest outro to any watch conversation. Well, you know, you got to buy what you like. As a Melgas oh. owner, um, I understand and respect that position, but yeah. Buy what uh, you like, yeah. Buy what you like, you know. Yeah. You know, like the all history. vintage all vintage IWCs are Nazi watches. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta buy what you like. I gotta go, but you buy what you like. <laughs> it's a true it's true. Uh, it's the biggest it's the biggest outro to like any conversation. Yeah, this is not good. This is not yeah. the direction. And honestly, the releases they had last year were horrible. Yeah. Are we ready they for were, like it was well, fun. You, know, you gotta buy you guys you gotta buy what you like. So yeah. You platinum yeah. and solid gold milgauss, it's fine. What? Solid gold milgauss. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's on the table. I, I, I just like to see no. him to bring back the milk house. Well, I opened, my, I opened my big stupid mouth on Tim's stream today, and then Tim took it and actually ran with it, and now it's on the table. Oh, man, so, wait, I've why? been making, like, platinum milk house jokes for six months, and then he ran with it. Wait, how do you find the video? How do you find a full-size video? 
I, I need to find so the Rolex. Good. Quality. Thing. I love it. Mm. Rolex What's Rolex's thing? YouTube channel? Rolex watches. Maybe. Probably. Or you blew up the teaser, the teaser video. Guess whose video comes up first when you search Rolex watches? Nico Leonard. Jenny Ellie. Oh hell yeah. And the Roman? she hasn't made a video for like a year and then she like yeah, comes out of like it. Yeah, had a kid, that's fine, right? Like I like I'm not gonna shit on that, but like had a kid, comes back, but like the fact that she's first. Ah, who gives a fuck? It's her job. The watch community is full of thirsty fucking weirdos. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. They'll I'm jump at to find. any female they'll jump at. I mean, let's be honest, Jenny L and Brittany are nothing to fucking write home about. Yeah. Okay, after a few uh, bush limes, you might I'm change your mind. You, you, know what I want to do? you know what I want to do? And I, it'll be the biggest show on YouTube. I want to get Lisa in to become a watch a watch. Who's that? Porn Come star. On, Diego, you fucking you don't know who Lisa Ann is? Yeah. Okay, so if it's a porn star. She's like an old ass porn star too. I want to get, yeah, get Lisa Ann to start reviewing reviewing watches and talk yeah. about her honest. I think it'll be the biggest show of all time. Do it. You're right. Do it right now. Just reach out. Mm. Yeah, that chick is playing Diego, out. Diego, don't feign ignorant. Don't yeah, when don't, say, don't when play you say, like you don't know who that when is. You say, when yeah. you say por porn, what you, porn, what, um, pornography? What is she a pornography? We call it a porn dog around here. Um, like, I'm, I'm going to defend porno. Diego for a minute and say that like I spent like a lot of time getting a master's degree instead of thinking of like tits and ass, so like I'm not going to shave him. <laughs> There's like a chunk of my brain that like could have been devoted to tits that is now a master's degree. <laughs> so <laughs> Diego's still keeping the keeping the myth going. I was the the, the guys on the stream were talking about pornography, porn, <laughs> pornography. I don't know. Pornography. I don't know what it's like a spelling. I don't know what it is. What's the origin is, but... of the word? <laughs> it sounds. It, it sounds. Porno. It sounds off. It sounds awful. It sounds awful. It sounds awful. Sounds man. exciting. It sounds awful. <laughs> All right. That's a sky <laughs> goal, right? I would never you do think that. that's a sky I would never we do don't that. really we're not really sure about any of it. Yeah, you, you got the center yeah. of the uh the chapter ring right there. Yeah, but we don't know. Like you don't yeah. know. You think it's a sky dweller, but it could be a new model. You don't know. Can you I know. can right. I say something? Can I say something that nobody is talking about? We're all looking at the photos, but let's look at the text. What does it yeah. say when, when something when the icon does the when unexpected. the iconic meets the unexpected? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That so, means something, guys. We gotta look at that. Yes. So, it means I, so I don't. Day -day. This is a new. This is a new day date bracelet, though. Is yeah. it not? That's what they're no, saying. Diego, the day -day Diego, the word on the street. What's what's the here's, reference of the day date? Here's the word on the street. You want to know what it is? Sure. There might be. There might be a version of the Sky Dweller in a smaller size on a day date bracelet. Dude, I'll shit my pants if they do that. Okay, so let's take a so look. So if you go all the way to the end of the video, <laughs> go just go to the end and we'll squash the end this of the right video. Now. Yeah. Go all the way to the end, we'll squash it right now. That does look like a. You're talking about the shot on the uh, lady's wrist? What? Yeah, watch the lady's wrist. Oh, here it comes. So, right there. So he's pointing at the sky. Mm -hmm. it's the same rose gold day date bracelet from the first part of the video. Yep. Which had a sky dweller face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And dude, the bracelet is likely thicker. So they do you remember the watch I was asking for? Hold on. I want yeah, I want to hear where Buckley was going with this. You wanted a you wanted a 40 millimeter sky dweller. This is it? You think this is it? I mean, it could be. It could be even a 37. Mod yes. on. That's so what I want. He's clearly pointing at the sky, right? It could be a new movement entirely. It could be called a fucking, you know, Gibraltar. We don't know. <laughs> How do we know that this is <laughs> a Hindenburg. small boy? Yeah. Johnson's right. We're just assuming that the gender. This could be small boy for all we know. No, no. That's a woman's wrist. That's Interesting. Really for sure, that's a woman's wrist. But 
The, the thing here, the, the whole theme around this year is they're going to do a bunch of shit between models that nobody can predict. Okay. Ooh, just making all the noise. Yeah, I have no idea. So we're going to see a women's sky dweller, and it looked like from the uh, no the rose a gentleman size sky dweller. Okay, all right. No, no, no. I think it's going to be like a thirty-seven, thirty-eight. So a woman's Perfect. sky dweller. But this, so a fully rose gold date just? Is yeah, that what that so, is? So I got to tell you guys, because the earlier show, they were shitting on this idea. Okay, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. The coolest vintage watch I've ever held in my hand was a yellow gold, full yellow gold, 36 millimeter date just with the hidden clasp. Mm -hmm. The Super Jubilee. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. So cool. So yeah. They're probably coming out with a 36 full rose gold date just. They'll sell it for 32 grand. And you know the problem, though. You know the problem, though. It's going to have a bezel like this. It's going to have all these like weird girly dials. I don't think so. Perfect for you, Diego. You'll love it. Why is the crystal so big on this? Has anybody talked about that? Yeah. I mean, this, so, this could be anything. This could be going anything. on with that? But yeah. this year, for whatever reason, is super heavy in rose gold. Super blingy, yeah. Why is this crystal so pronounced? Uh, I guess if I look at mine closely, it's kind of similar. Yeah, a lot of a lot of those um, old Rolexes had pronounced crystals. I, I don't remember who now was talking that, about them. that right there. This is, is the Sky Dweller. Dweller. That's the Sky Dweller. Dweller. So the new Sky Dweller. So it's likely, it's likely that that is a yellow gold with a green dial. Thin. Like the uh, John Mayer. Mm, I don't think like the John Mayer. I think more along the lines of like a lacquered type of thing. You, you know a real easy way to figure out what watch this is? This is a Sky Dweller. You, well, you can count the teeth on the crown and then look at a Sky Dweller crown and count the teeth. Yeah, I mean. Like, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a real thing, though. Like Really? Each Rolex, I would assume each Rolex crown because they're size different. Like you've got That's Submariner different. crowns, GMT crowns. Yeah, they, they got to have a different number of teeth. Mm. They have to. I'm willing to bet that this is because this looks a little bit thicker than a day date. It's got a little. Oh, yeah. Got a little chunk to it. Look at that. It's got an ass. Can we talk about this for a second? Right before that? Right before that? The uh, yeah. old watch so, with the. So, what, what is this? So you see the case back? It's yeah, it's probably titanium. So okay. what you're looking at here is probably, probably a 43 millimeter sea dweller in full gold. But why the titanium back? The because that? they use a titanium back to go deeper than 300 meters. Ooh. Is it the sea dweller or the deep sea where they do the titanium though? I'm hoping. I think it's, it's a deep, deep sea. I think they do it on both, but I'm hoping it's the sea dweller because a deep sea in full gold is the stupidest watch imaginable. I mean, that's just preposterous. Who's going to buy that? Yeah. Um, at least with a deep sea, you could have an eight and a half inch wrist by a full gold watch and it look cool. It's but, definitely a diver case. I mean, you can just tell by the look. Yeah. yeah, it's right. a hoisted bracelet. It's got the glide lock. It's, you know, it's a full gold. Which I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, if uh, if this is a forty three millimeter gold sky dweller, not sky dweller, gold sea dweller, that was one of my predictions. It's a full gold sea dweller. And this for sure, you know, I, I looked this up this morning. This this code that's for a twenty mil uh, oyster flex. Yeah. So okay. the word on the street, the two options here is two. Okay. One is. Steel Daytona is on Oyster Flex. Oh, mod on. The what? other option oh is God. the other option is Le Mans pull the red one hundred. Le Mans on Oyster Flex. What makes you think it's steel? Is that just because like it could be? No, it's white. It's a, definitely a Daytona. And if you take what they said, which was. Turn the iconic into the un fucking unexpected. unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's if you took a if you took a stainless steel Daytona and put it on Oyster Flex, it's very unexpected. Interesting. 
Okay. I could see that. But honestly, we're probably all wrong. We could be. We could it's be right. Now. Can we just reflections right here? Can we just be so, oh Diego? See how you see? So this is the most interesting. You see how the bottom is yellow and the top is silver? Yeah, Wait. what are you talking about? Where? All right. Where's Here's my mouse. Tell me where to go. Yeah. So in the bottom Last? in the bottom it has a yellow hue. Here? Yes. That's mm-hmm. yellow. The idea, the idea here, and I'm gonna give credit to Dear Artifact, because he was the first one to point it out. This might be a white gold Coke on Jubilee. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Would make Definitely sense. Definitely doesn't look like a Submariner case. It's not, it's, it's not. a DNT case for sure. Which, by the way, so happy about that. So this is polished. DNT. This is polished, so I don't think it's titanium. I mean, that's out. No, it's mm. it, for sure GMT. For sure. Yeah. You know, the thing, though, that Rolex does, and they've done it in other videos, is they will use ambient lighting to change the color of the metal. Like, you know when OC takes a photo of his uh, his Daytona with mm. the baguette, and he changes, like, the filter, and you're like, do you have a platinum Daytona on Oysterflex? Like, what the fuck's going on? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could be doing something like that. Yeah, but I, I mean, listen, you could do all. Oh, wait, the, that's hold on. The case. Where does where does the yellow? What it, what does the yellow have to do with it being a color? Because white because gold, warm, like white color. gold, is uh, mm, um, like it's correct. a combination of like gold, copper, and whatever. Okay. But like. Like yeah. so, compared to especially platinum, you'll see like if you put them next to each other, like yeah, like, no, I know, yeah, 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 I get it. Guy, sorry. Yeah. And I'm... you know, look, take the iconic and do the unexpected. That's their yeah. whole thing. So they're ah. going to do a bunch of mixtures of shit that you're like, oh, they would never do that. Well, now you oh. might be, you might be looking at a forty five thousand dollar white gold GMT right there. Which... Oh, the thing that, that I suck. find interesting is if that's if like this in like I I'm, I'm in the like white gold camp here, but like there's no steel watches. Everything is above thirty to forty thousand dollars. So like yes. Rolex is not releasing any like their teaser is nothing like that the average person can. They don't achieve. want the average person anymore. Well, let's look at the teaser from last year. Uh, let me find it really quick. It was the Guinness. It was <laughs> um, the screen, green sky, rose gold sky. So, yeah. I mean, this kind of goes, I don't remember who said this, but it was someone in the YouTube space that said, with Rolex ramping up production this year, a lot of people are kind of guesstimating that they're really going to concentrate on precious metal and yeah. pull back on stainless steel, right? Yeah, um, which, you know, could make sense. This could be something that they do. We just see yeah. all precious metal releases moving forward. Yeah, so... Explorer 40, titanium... Yeah, yeah this is titanium. Going yeah, through and this goodness. to see what we could spot. Yeah. I love it. Is this the one that Boston bought? Yeah, so that was around the dial. Day to eight. That's Mexico City. That was cool how we figured that out. That was fun. What was this? What was that? Guinness. No, what is this? No. Was oh, this the uh, Air King? Air no, King oh, King? it's 40. No. 40. Yeah. Guinness 1908. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Guinness. Yeah. So I got to be honest. I think we're pretty fucking close this year. We're going to be wrong, but we're close. Enough. We're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rolex, if they heard our stream today, I think that they would be uncomfortable. With Someone Rolex. would yeah. call us. Who you been talking to, eh? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've been like, I've been making the like precious metal Milgauss joke for like six months now because also like, like Tim was talking about like, the Milgauss does not have a flip lock clasp, right? So like, but the new Air King does. Because the Air King sucks, dude. I like the new Air King. I don't give a yes, fuck. You suck. I like it. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking suck too, bitch. <laughs> Do you remember when I asked you, Lolix, if, if you think you have good taste? That was partly in my mind. Oh, so, Diego. Diego. Yeah, motherfucker. Diego, play the, video, play the video until we get to the back of the Rose Gold Jubilee. Yeah. 
because Evan's bringing up a point here. <clears throat> There's, I think there's more to the point than what we're seeing. So go up. This one? No. Rose gold. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. It's, it's so, day just. So look, look, here's the thing. You think that's a date just. It mm. would make sense. You know what wouldn't make sense? Mm. What's that? A fucking full rose gold mill gauss on Jubilee. <laughs> Hey, hey, how about this? You know, I would love the shit out of that. I would buy but, the shit out of that. Look, Look, here's the this, thing. this could also be a mono pusher or mono pusher Daytona. Nah, there's no gap between the uh, crew. Look, look, they're showing us it as if it's a full rose gold date, ju- uh, date just, mm-hmm. which yeah. means it's probably not. Who would have guessed a two tone Explorer one? Not fucking <laughs> one of us. No, no one. Uh, yeah. Watch. I know it's a uh, trash watch, but I, I'm saying Rolex does crazy shit from time to time. Don't man, be surprised. Man, that would be like unless they start offering like the Jubilees an option for the fucking day date. Look, this is the most interesting one. I mean, this is not. I don't think this is a day date. I could see the sky dweller thing, but that looks a little too thin to be a sky dweller. But you, it, it looks Rolex. too. It looks too broad to be no, a day date. Listen, you know. Rolex. You're assuming that it's a sky dweller. It might not be a sky dweller. It might be a complete new fucking thing. Yeah. It true. might be called a, a fucking jabroni burger. We don't know. This could be the new Midas. This could be the new King Midas. It could be a, it could be a Texan. We don't know. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, either way, we're going to find out soon. I'm but that's, the yeah, GMT. That's the, hand, so. the GMT is the one that's most interesting to me i really want to see what they do with that a lot of people are thinking you know gmt uh, is the most uninteresting to me i'm excited about that one i think the sky dollar is gonna be cool too but now that we're dissecting this i think we're gonna see some crazy shit and we're definitely gonna see i'm calling this now i know they're not showing this but i'm calling this now we're gonna see a new color dial op i know not a hot take but we're gonna see no no they're not gonna give us i think so so here's what I want to know. Anybody that has a day date in the chat? Oh, what's going on with this curve? Diego's the king with MS. Is this left hand drive? Yes. Dude. Oh, Diego. This is left hand drive. Diego. Diego might be the first person to fucking catch this. Yeah. Clip it. No, that's left hand drive. Clip it. Holy shit. Let's get this Maybe. on TikTok. I don't know. Or okay, am, I just, no, seeing, am I just seeing the curve? That is, that is a curve. Drive. Holy fuck. Holy a shit, Diego. A left-hand drive day date. Get back to the video, Diego. Let's get let's get this again in HD. Mod on. on. Diego. Dude, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. Like, legitimately, that's left-hand drive. Holy shit. Yeah, but She's the Cyclops is still on the right side. But she could be playing us, and she could be wearing it on the wrong side but then here's the problem the flip lock is on the correct side for the cyclops to be on that side oh, i think we're just looking at a new case shape these lugs no. right here are very they're not day day because like a, like i mean let me you're let looking me at a possible new you might be looking at a new <laughs> model that's what i'm yeah, saying left hand drive day just in no f- you might be person. looking at a fucking a, a, like a sky dweller for women under a different name. All right, let's do a little oh, bit man. of drawing here because typically day date lugs kind of do this, right? They turn in, come down like that. This looks like it's doing this. It's it's flaring. I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a flare right there. I'm more looking at the uh, where, we're seeing where it this the crown. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's, what I was going to ask, though, the reason I, I post this photo in paint to zoom in was anybody that does have a day date, does your first link protrude from the case like that? I don't know. You see that? Like Negroni, do you got your, your Negroni by? Is that typical of a day date? Or is this a much smaller, different case? And they just, Rolex was like, all right, we'll make the day date bracelet fit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, but, they've done that with, like, the lady president in the past. So. Hmm. 
It's such an interesting brand. Even though it's the most mass produced fucking generic shit, it still has everybody by the ball. Yeah. Go back to the video. AP the did releases a month ago. No one even fucking blinked an eye. No one I even know, looked. Right? <laughs> no one even looked. Yeah, All right, no, we're like, gonna we're gonna move the video like and see. Diego, we can see. This is like like not bullshitting you. This is legitimately the first time I've even like thought of that. Okay, and, like you, it's I not a crown. Right. That, that's a left no. hand drive. No, there's uh, no crown. Yeah, it just it doesn't matter. Coming. Like the 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 like curve in the case. It's. No, I'm not seeing a crown. Just, yeah. No, the, why are they pointing at the sky? It's a new sky dweller, probably. In rose gold. Something, I think it's something for women with the sky dweller. That looks so like Negroni that says looks that's good. how the president end link is. So it's probably just a damn day date, to be honest with you. No, it's. And okay, so if it's a day date, Diego. The dial has something to do with the sky. What is it? Soaring to new heights, new adventures. I mean, the sky has so many no double they, meanings. No, that they don't do that. You know, Rolex. Every single part of the of the teaser is a is a clue. So the environmental, you're saying, like with the Titanium Yacht Master, it's in the water. Yes. They don't, the they don't Speed Master that. last year, it's racing around the dial. Yeah. Dude, they did that one day date that like nobody bought except for Boston. They did three slides on it with Mexico City, right? So what if they just figured out how to put the Sky Dweller movement in the day date case? That'd be the easiest explanation. You're right? assuming it's the Sky Dweller movement. It might not be. It might be a day date with just an annual calendar extra for women. We don't know. They could do anything they want. Yeah, but you're saying Hold on, then. That goes against everything you just said. You said she's pointing at the sky, Sky Dweller, right? I'm saying it. It's something to do with the Sky Dweller, but it might not be a Sky Dweller. It might be a fucking just an annual calendar. Yeah, an annual calendar day date or whatever. We don't know. This could be the Sky Dweller too, right? We've had Yacht Master two, GMT Master two. What else has had a second coming? Uh, Air King two, right? This could very well be the new Sky Dweller 2 where they said, all right, we uh, figured out a way to make that movement thinner. We have a day date case. We're going to throw it in there. There's something with the Sky Dweller because Watches and Wonders, they did their teaser with Rolex, and the whole thing was revolving around a rose gold Sky Dweller, which came out like a month and a half ago. Very interesting. Yeah. So something is with, with rose gold right now. There's something for sure. And they, they use that tagline. When the iconic meets the unexpected, which means you're not going to fucking get it. Yeah. You're not going to get it. You could try, but we're going to be wrong. This, I think, is just another Daytona. I think... Like you said, some new. <sighs> Here's the thing, though. If unless they do something crazy, like you said, steel Daytona, then they're essentially just saying, "By the way, there's new dials coming, right?" Because the new Daytonas have glide lock already, so this isn't new. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but being able to get a steel Daytona on on Oyster Flex is. Yeah, crazy. I'm fading. Yeah. You guys fading? You want to keep running going? for three hours? Might as well. We got 15 minutes left. Come on, Diego. I'll let you guys close it out. You guys cool with that? You son of a bitch. Mm, Diego's done. Diego's I just started rubbing my eyes. That was the, the worst thing I could have done. <laughs> Your eyes. Your vagina. You want to hear something funny about tonight? What? So, what? this is show what a douchebag I totally am. Okay. So I'm I'm staying in the hotel tonight, and uh, the principal owner of the hotel, his daughter's getting married. So like, there's a big party going on tonight, and the music's pounding and everything. And so I was getting in the elevator, literally going down 
to the lobby just to see if there might have been more snacks. <laughs> okay. And the guy in the elevator was like, he looked over at me. And he's like, this is, this is it's absurd. It's absurd. I, I paid all this money to get some rest tonight. The party's going down. I can't sleep. I'm getting a full refund. I'm getting a full refund for tonight. And I was like, fuck yeah, man. Me too. <laughs> it's okay. Right. So, so I, I just followed him down to the lobby and he argued his case and the manager on duty said, oh, I'm so, so sorry. Like tonight's fully comped. And I literally just stood behind him and said, uh, yeah, me too. He's like, sir, I'm so, so sorry. Yes. You're, tonight's going to be fully comped. Don't worry about it. And I said, by the way, do you guys have like, Pretzels or chips he or anything. Chips Ahoy back there, and he baked goods. <laughs> You'd love like, a sandwich if you can make that happen. He's like, he's like, yeah, sir, we have these. Uh, we have these kettle chips. And I was like, so uh, three bags of those would would <laughs> help. But the most important thing is tonight's comp. Still, he's like, I really yes. need you to take care of that. And you know what? Go ahead and set a <laughs> bottle of Vu upstairs too. <laughs> I love a little he's champagne like, to go to bed. Yes, too. yes. He's like, not. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I was like, but the the three bags of kettle chips. I'm still gonna need those, please, I'm, if you don't mind. Like you know, I'm realizing right now they're not in my hands, and I feel like <laughs> I should be holding them as I talk to you. Right. Yeah, that's the pro move right there. You know, another it, pro move. You know, upgrade. Think about it. Well, we're leaving tomorrow, but yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I literally. I couldn't have been a bigger like I had one earbud like I'm clearly listening to something like <laughs> it was it was a douche it was a, a d bag move but still I got tonight comp so yeah so thanks guys that's how you do it that's how you do it thanks thanks everybody that's free app absolutely and Very I'm cool. eating uh I got three bags of Miss Miss Vicky's sea salt kettle chips I don't know they yummy to me. Yo, I'm should like, I should I Sopranos end the stream? Yeah, yes, just black. <laughs> yeah, you know, just do it and like the mi make sure it's in the middle of a sentence. Yeah, do it. Don't do it. stop believing. Believe